Evening, everyone. Hey, Jamima. Hey, girl. <laughs> Let me go read what she said. I think there was give and take for sure. The quality of life stuff is by far outnumbered the negative, though. Uh, but maybe that's because I didn't play the OG when it came out for many reasons, but it scared the crap out of me. Oh, oh my gosh. And so playing the 3D made me fall in love with it, and I am so glad I played it. Hype song is hype! Yes, Jamima. Yeah, I know. I, I had a feeling like, um, um, scary games aren't, uh, like, you're not into scary games, so that's probably why you didn't play Majora's Mask. Like, you're, that's why you're asking if Ghost Tricks, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective is a scary game. It's not scary at all. It's a funny, funny, uh, um, it's more, I, I wouldn't say it's even scary at all. It's, there's nothing scary about it. It's more of a paranormal game. Oh my god, it's ne Sigma! Oh my, oh! <laughs> oh god, Sigma! Oh. You gotta work, you gotta like, uh, get a better filter for your exhaust pipe. Oh my god, Sigma! Oh, I didn't know Maverick's, uh, Maverick exhaust farts smell that bad. Jeez, you gotta get, gotta be get a better, uh, exhaust pipe for that. Exhaust filter, whatever it's called. Exhaust pipe. Oh! Sigma! Oh, jeez. Oh. Hey, what's up, Sigma? <laughs> the moon is terrifying, let's be real. It is terrifying, it is scary. <laughs> no, I don't do horror scary things at all, LOL. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, no worries. But yeah, what's up, everyone? Um... <laughs> We were just talking about, uh, we were just talking about, uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D, and, um, and how, um, what was I gonna say, and how, like, the quality of life, uh, for the game improved for Majora's Mask, but then they took away some quality of life stuff, well, they took away some, some features, not features, but some, um, some, uh, moves from the game that were they nerfed some moves from the game like Zoro Link's moves something like that so yeah just playing some FF16 oh cool 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 Sigma that's awesome yeah and then we're also gonna be playing we're so instead of playing the, the original DS game I actually um so we, we when we stopped when we streamed the original DS game we got up to chapter 9 so I actually decided to go get the remaster of this game, and then I sh and I played it offline up to chapter nine, so that way we can continue off from where we left off. So we're gonna be we're gonna continue Ghost Trick Pen Detective on the remaster instead on that's on the Switch, and then uh, we're gonna be con and then we're gonna be playing continuing on chapter nine, which is where we left off on the original DS version. So. Um, I'm excited to play, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to continue playing the DS version of this game. I mean, I'm excited to play, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be streaming the Switch version of this game. That's why I meant, Switch version. Alright, but yeah, what's up, Jamima? What's up, Sigma? I want to stream, I want to stream, um, the, the, um, this past weekend. I want to stream this past weekend, but it was so hot. We, we had a heat wave um, over here in, Cal in, in California, so I couldn't get to stream um, at all this past weekend. And then I wanted to stream last night, but then like I wanted, to, I decided to go get the remaster and play up to chapter nine. So that took me a few hours to do. So I was, I was thinking, you know, what, wait, might as well wait until we, uh, until Tuesday night, which is July fourth. And thankfully, I'm off July fourth, so I, I took a, a, a long nap. I took a long nap, and that helped me feel better today. Cause I wasn't really, I was feeling like, I feel, I was feeling mad today, so. But I, I but yeah, I'm feeling better now. But glad to see you here, Jamima. Glad to see you here, Jamima. Glad to see you here, uh, Sigma. Glad to see everyone here. Let's see. Give me one second. All right, cool. So we're going to continue with Ghost Trick Fan Detective. 
Denzi Cadenzi, hey Abu, how's it going, y'all? Hey, what's up, Cadenzi? Oh my gosh. How are you doing? How are you doing? Glad to be able to hang out. I'm glad to see I'm glad to see you guys here too. Did you guys have a happy fourth? Did you guys enjoy your happy fourth of July? Um, if you did have to work today, Jamima, did you, was it was work really uh was work really um uh you know congested because of uh, July Fourth stuff? But what's up, uh, Denzi Condensi? Hope you enjoyed your July Fourth too. If you're American, Condensi or Denzi, I'll just call you Denzi. But where, yeah. So um, uh, <coughs> I'm assuming you just came in, Denzi. So. Uh, we were streaming the DS version of this game up to Chapter 9, so now we're playing the Switch version remaster of this game um, from Chapter 9 onwards. So I actually played this game up to Chapter 9 off stream, so I can catch up to where we left off, so now we're at the part where we left off in the DS version. I did not work today, can you believe it? Yay! That's awesome, Jamima! You, you didn't have to work! Yay! I'm hoping, I'm hoping you had a restful day today. It's been great. Fireworks pretty much since Saturday. Not familiar with Fen Detective. Is it, is, is it a story, basically? Yes. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. You had, uh, you're enjoying from some fireworks with family and friends. That's awesome, Denzi. Um, but yeah, I didn't really do anything for uh, July 4th weekend. But I, uh, I just had a good, good rest. I had, I took a long, lot of naps today. I mean, I took a lot of lap, took a lot of naps last weekend. Now I'm just trying to have to not have a panic attack with all the fireworks going off. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear about that, Jamima. Yeah, I hope you do feel better. Hope you do feel better. Uh, yeah, I I know fireworks can be kind of stressful for for some people, even pets too, even pets too. And also, yeah, Denzi. Uh, so this game is actually a a visual novel from the same people who did um Ace Attorney, th who did the Ace Attorney games. So this is a paranormal, this is a paranormal, um, uh, visual novel, paranormal, paranormal murder mystery visual novel, and it's not scary at all, it's actually funny, it's very funny. So, hope you enjoy visual novels, Denzi. We're gonna continue. Oh cool, we can start with either the autosave, we can continue with, continue with the autosave or the manual save, that's pretty awesome. And I have distraction, so that's a good thing. Okay. <laughs> that's so cool. Then let's see what the chapter select looks like. Oh, interesting. All right. Let's see, let's let's take a look at what the extras look like too. Oh, there's even ghost puzzle. Complete ghost trick to play the ghost puzzle mini game. Solving puzzles unlock special illustrations only seen here. Oh, cool. There's even challenges. Let's see. A curious Soul, 444 Ghosts. Mystery of the Secret Room, Chapter 5. Avert fate without any deaths after the final fate change. That's interesting. There's illustrations. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. So this remaster has some, like, extras, but they're not, like, huge extras. They're just, they're just interesting extras. That's cool. Alright, let's go and continue. Let's for sure continue. So we're continuing from chapter 9. And as you can see, guys, we don't have the bomb screen anymore since we're playing the Switch version. So hope you got hope this game looks a lot better. Now I'm back in the present, and it's completely shrouded in darkness. I can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a, it's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. With the power failure, all the cell bars opened automatically. Plus, now a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised Lin. I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now in just as much danger as before. Can you guys hear the game okay? 
Yeah, can you guys hear the game okay? The darkness is thick, but it can also be our friend. Right now, it's what Detective Jowd is hiding himself in. I hope the detective is all, all right in this blackness. I better find him fast. Come to think of it, he gave me some advice. Head for the spoon, he said. Mm, thanks. I wonder what that was all about. Booey, have you had you have the most contagious energy on Twitch? Always love to see it. Thanks for being so awesome. Oh, thank you, Kadenzi. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I always try to bring in a positive vibe to the channel. I always try to bring in a bring in a positive vibe to the channel, so thank you. I really appreciate it. Yep. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Jamima. I'm glad. I'm really glad to see you guys here too. I'm really glad to see you guys here too. I, but that's very. I'm. I'm very thankful to hear. Um, I'm very gr uh, grateful to hear. Uh, to hear uh, you say that, uh, Denzi. Thank you so much. And you guys are awesome too. You guys are awesome too. I always try to make sure that everyone has a good time. Uh, I'm trying to bring a positive uh, energy to this channel. You know, make sure everyone feels good about themselves. So that's good. That's good, Denzi. Oh crap! Let's see. What? Am... <laughs> I wonder where I'm. What I'm supposed to do here? All oh, right, I can see in the dark. I think. Oh, whoops! Wrong button. Oh, that's right. That's right. I can't go far while in. in I'm in ghost mode. It's ghost trick mode. I see. So I need to head towards the spoon. He said. The detect detective, the detective told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present. So here I am. Yeah, the graphics, as you can see, guys, the graphics look a lot better. Obviously, the bell better go back. <laughs> the graphics do look a lot better in this remaster. It looks good on my TV for sure. Phew, I'm back. Hate to run so soon, we'll be, but we'll be, um, hate to run so soon, but we'll be lurking for a bit, doing things around the house, catch you in a bit. Alright, no problem, no problem, no problem, Denzi. Yeah, definitely, uh, lurk around. Thank goodness someone flushed his toilet. That was good timing. Now to use the cover of darkness to help the, de the detective escape. But first I have to find him. Oh no! It's Prisoner C74. Secure the prisoner. Oh no! Hmm. It looks like there are hunters in this darkness. I hope they haven't found Detective Jowd. This is some true darkness, but luckily, darkness doesn't exist in the in the ghost world. I can make use of that fact to help me find the detective. Oh no, Detective, uh, I mean, the, that, that prisoner got caught. Now I need to go find Detective Jowd. Uh-oh. Huh? What's that red light? Hmm. It looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. Oh, there he is. Everyone looks so silly in this game. It doesn't look like escape is going to be easy. There's Detective Jowd. Ah, there you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. Are you the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right, I still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. But how did you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times, not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. A route that made use of Sausage Head Spoon and my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. 
Anyway, it looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? This could be interesting. Let's do it. Alright. So, let, so, let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So, we move under cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that. But I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move to, I want to I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine, but how? The dead don't have voices. Even if they did, we have to be quiet. Don't don't you worry about that. I have an idea. Let's just try it and you'll see how it works. This detective likes to just dive it right into things, even more than so, even more than Lynn does. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we can just start over, start over, right? See, that's why he wasn't so worried about trying this new thing, because he knows if if he dies, uh, Cecil can just bring him back to life. Can just bring him back to life. He says cheerfully. Man, this is a lot nice. This is actually a, not, a lot nicer to play on the Switch than on the DS, um, than on the 3DS, because with the 3DS, I have, to, I have to play on a small screen. But with the Switch, you can play on a, a, a giant TV, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm playing on my eight, giant 4K TV. Which is a. So I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that we're playing this on the Switch instead. And then with the, with the. Since we're playing on the Switch version, you don't have to worry about the bomb screen covering up the top screen. Or the top screen covering up the bomb screen. I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here, except for me, that is. Yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters lurking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So it's all about staying out of the guards' line of sight, eh? Make sure you guard. Make sure you guide me to safe spots. All right, let's try this out. I bet for layout wise, it's better and easier to set up. Oh yeah, for sure. It is easier to set up, and as you can see, I it, the, the with the game with the Switch remaster, it's a lot crisper. Now about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but I can sense your powers now. Y you what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Uh, that doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, the, de the details don't matter. Do you see this R here? Yeah, where did that come from? Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? If you press R, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. So, for example, If you move to that spoon and press R, I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? Alright, fine. Let's start our escape plan. Just make sure you guide... Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the raid, Goron Megazord. I always appreciate raids. Guys, go ahead and check out and follow Goron Megazord, guys. <laughs> the skeleton's looking hey! all off. <laughs> Except his boots. What game is that? What game are you streaming? Um. So yeah, what uh, what game are you streaming uh, tonight, uh, Goron? Thank you so much, guys. Guys, go ahead and check out and follow Goron Megazord. He is a uh, retro and JRPG streamer, and he plays all sorts of video games. So go ahead and check out and follow him, guys. You're you're streaming. You're streaming. Uh, Legend of Lagaya. Awesome. That's awesome, Goron. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. That's awesome. I heard I heard a lot of good things about Legend of Lagaya. 
That, I heard that's that game is a, it's a, it's a classic JRPG. So how are you liking it? Thank you. That was Saga Frontier. I've never played Saga Frontier before. But yeah, we're uh, we're actually uh, streaming um, Ghost Trick Panda Detective the Remastered version. So we originally played the DS version up to Chapter Nine, but I decided to go get the remastered version. Uh, yeah, last night, and then I I played it offline up to chapter nine to to catch up to where we were. So now we're on chapter nine on the remaster version. So we're continuing where we left off on the original on the original game. Thank you for the shout out. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. But yeah, uh, if you don't know who I am, let me go ahead and switch to the other view. But yeah, if you don't know who I am, I'm uh, Koopa Booey. Oh, I almost I was about to say my old username. I was about to say my old year's name. I'm Koopa Booey, and um, <coughs> and I uh, stream um, Nintendo games. I'm primarily a Nintendo streamer, but I do occasionally stream retro horror JRPGs. So if you like what you see, uh, come one, come follow, come hang out. We are actually going to be doing a Zelda marathon. We're going to be streaming all the Legend of Zelda games from the very first Legend of Zelda all the way leading up to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So we'll be streaming all the uh, Legend of Zelda games from, from the very first Legend of Zelda all the way leading up to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So come on, come all, come fall, come hang out, guys. So yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the raid. Let's see. Oh, did you say you were able to resume them from in remastered? Dang, that's a lot of Zelda. I, it is a lot of Zelda. I've been wanting to do this for Zelda Marathon for a while, too. I'm a huge Zelda fan. Yeah, we're, we're resuming from the remaster. So we were playing this game on the 3DS. The, it's a DS game. It was originally a DS game, but we pl were streaming it from the 3DS and up to Chapter 9. And then I decided to go uh, get the remaster. And so since I had to, uh, since, uh, since the remaster doesn't really... You can't, since you really can't get the save from the DS version, I have to play the game uh, off stream. I have to play the game off stream up to chapter 9 so we, can, so we can catch up to where we left off in the original DS version. So now here we are. We're on the Switch remaster. Dang, that's a lot. Zelda Marathon hype? Whoop. Yes, did Zelda, Zelda Marathon hype? I'm excited for it. Yes. Ooh, off stream. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're streaming this on stream. Now we're streaming this on from chapter nine from, from chapter nine on. Just make sure you guide me to safe spots, Sissel. All right, let's see how this works. So that red light, that's the light of the night vision goggles on one of the guards. I can use the light to let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving too. Very informative in this darkness. Keep an, keep a sharp eye for it. Let's see. So I guess I'll like tell him to when he looks when he looks away. I'll tell him to move to to under the table. I guess. Oh shit! Oh no! I thought he was gonna hide under the table. What the heck? I thought he was going to hide under the table. That's bullshit. If he enters a guard's field of vision, it's over. I have to watch the movement of the red lights. The first thing to do is take a good look around and check out what the enemy is doing. Yeah, but I thought he's going to hide under the table. For now, how about just aiming for the neighboring cell? We can't hurry too much in this darkness. Let's take it slow. That's bullshit. Okay, so it doesn't work that way. Stupid. Right, so I have to look for him. I have to watch. For okay, go, 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 go. Oh no! I, I didn't see him either. Oh crap. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't see him. If we enter Oh no. Okay, it's a lot trickier than I thought. Oh no. 
There's another guard here. You almost called yourself Voopa Booey earlier. I did? I almost called myself... Yeah, yeah, yeah! Because <laughs> you know why, Sigma? Because I used to call myself V Booey, remember, right? I used to call myself V Booey, but then... <laughs> and then I was like... I was like, V... Koopa Booey. <laughs> I was like... I'm like V... Koopa Booey. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I was... Because I was trying to like... I was... Because like, usually whenever I shout myself out... I usually say V Booey, but now... Because, like, it... You know, it makes sense to call my... It, 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 it sounds so much better just to call myself Koopa Booey. Because, like, V Booey doesn't sound... Doesn't have much of a... Like, doesn't have, like, a strong meaning. But with Koopa Booey, it has a lot, lot better meaning. It hasn't been long at all since you changed it. I know, I know, yeah. It hasn't been that long. But, yeah, did you have a... Did you enjoy your 4th uh, of July in Sigma? Did you enjoy your 4th uh, of July? Oh no, this guy. So maybe I have to trick this guy. It's been nice. That's good, that's good, Sigma. Maybe I have to trick this guy. Oh no. The loud from all the fireworks nearby. Though loud from all the fireworks works nearby. Yeah, I can I can see that. Yeah, I don't- in my- in where I live, uh, I think fireworks are allowed. Oh man, I have to figure this out. It's no use, the internal- the internal phone doesn't work. I guess I better find another route. Is it Koopa because you're a Nintendo fan, or was it a nickname? It's Koopa because I'm a Nintendo streamer, so that way, uh, the viewers can know that I stream Nintendo games. And also- and also because our um, our mascot, one one of our two mascots is uh, Larry Larry Koopa, so that's what. Hence why you see, hence why you see um, Larry as my uh, channel icon, because Larry is cute. He's my favorite. He's my favorite Koopa kid. So I love Ko I love Larry. He's so cute. Yeah, I love his little little uh, little star thing on his face. So, I thought it would be a nice username. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Stay. Don't fall down. Oh, my God. Do not fall down. Oh, there they fell. Hey! Let me, let me try to put them back on. Let's see. There you go. Oh, yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Just like how you're Goron Megazord. Goron lets me know that you play Nintendo games too. Sigma, I feel that. Um, I have my noise canceling earphones on listening to the cast. Oh, that's awesome, Jamima. Spoon and bunk. I got it. This victim was spooning someone in the bunk when they got caught. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sigma. Alright, let's see. I'm trying to figure this out. So I can't easily, like, make him. I can't easily have him move all the way over here, so... Hmm. Maybe I can move him over here. Oh, that doesn't work either! Yeah, I might need to do more of that, right? Maybe there's something I'm not getting. Let me talk to him again. This certainly isn't a pro, but even he will shoot if he sees me. So if I so I have to time it so you don't enter his field of vision, huh? Exactly. I'm counting on you, Sissel. If I press R, then yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to lead him to safe spots. Maybe there's something I'm not getting. Maybe he can hide under the bunk. 
Yeah, I can. Maybe I can hide him under. Make him hide under the bunk, just like how he's hiding under this bunk. Let me try that instead. There you go. Oh my God. There you go. Ugh. That was stupid. The guards are. The guards are on the move. Now what? You can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. I think you already know this, but just in case, if you want to take a look around, you can move the screen with D-pad. But yeah, what other games have you been, have you been streaming, Goron? There you go. Ugh, that was annoying. Hmm. So now they need to figure out how to get to the other side. Okay, now he's leaving. I guess I have to talk to him again. You play a little horror exploration game called Chasing Static. Oh, that's cool. What's that game about? I um. Well, what what kind of game? Is, like what what kind of horror game is it? Is that a point and click? Is that a survival horror? Chasing stack sounds interesting. Good, this is a safe spot. You did well, Sissel. But unfortunately, there aren't any more bunks. I guess you'll have to find another safe spot then. And you and could you do it as quickly as possible? This position is killing my back. This could be difficult. Yeah, if I can get to if I can get farther. Right now I can't go any farther for some reason. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. I see what to do. I have to maybe I have to use him too. No! Oh no! Oh, he went back down, asshole. I'm agreeable. I can pretty much go. I can go pretty much everywhere, anywhere. Do I have to start over from the beginning again? Oh no. Someone said it reminded them of Kingsfield, which I didn't think of and thought it was thought was interesting. Oh it's cool, it's cool. Okay, I need to have him go under here. And then that's when he starts leaving. Oh, and then... I think I know what to do. Oh, I can't I can't possess him. Oh, interesting. I can't possess him. Oh, but I know what I can do. Oh, I see what I can do. There, I can possess him instead. His bulletproof vest. Um, oh, and 100%... Oh, and 100% ill bleed on the Sega Dreamcast. Very fun, weird, quirky horror game. Oh, cool! You own you you own ill bleed. I heard a lot of things about ill bleed. I heard it's a really really ba bad um horror game. It's like it's kind of like um what's that one game called um what's that one game called um I oh my god it's blanking on me. Hold on. Deadly Premonition. It's it's kind of like Deadly Premonition, right? Let's see, empty can. Hmm, this area under the stairs is a blind spot for the guards. They won't find them here. This this spot is safe. Oh shit! Oh no! Okay, it wasn't that. Okay, it wasn't that simple. What just happened? Apparently there was a hunter lurking in the ceiling. Yeah, I saw I saw the hunter. What's good, buoy? Well, hey, what's up, Rosuke? Well, in a way, yes, it has some hilarious and inappropriate parts. Oh my gosh, cool, cool, cool. So you own, so you own the game, or did you have like a a ripped version of the game? Did you emulate it, or did you like rip a game, rip the game or something like that, and then play it on your Dreamcast? 
Uh, what's good, Bui? I'm back from watching the new Spider-Man. How'd you like the new Spider-Man movie? How'd you like it, Rosuke? I was thinking about watching it, but I haven't seen the first one, though. Could you do something about him? It's so dark, I can't even see the bullet coming. So, what? He dodged the bullet if, he, if it wasn't dark? Nothing shocking, just really silly, like not Woody from Toy Story rescuing a doll called Sexy Doll. Haha. <laughs> oh, I see. I play on Dreamcast, how are you using the G, G demo? Oh, I see, I see. Wow, this game is bullshit. This game is annoying. Let's see. That's cool. That's cool, uh, Goron. So how you see? So yeah, would you would you highly recommend the Spider-Man movie? Death better than the first? Oh, you think it's better than the first? Oh man, I should watch it then. I need to figure out a way to watch the first one too, though. So yeah, I need to figure out what to do with the guy on the top. I didn't know he was looking at. I didn't know he was looking. For, oh yeah, he is looking. Just kidding. He is looking there. There you go. Let's see, hatch mechanism. Uh-oh. Let's see, valve. I, uh, stealth missions are the best, said sarcastically. I hate stealth missions too, yes, I hate them. I agree, Jamima. I hate them. So now I need to figure out how to get how to get them out of the way. Oh man. Let's see. Well, okay, well let's see where this douchebag uh, goes. Okay, he's going upstairs. Okay, good. Okay, so they're both going upstairs. Oh, I almost forgot. Yay! Na 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 na. Do 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 do. <laughs> na 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 na. Na na na. Oh, maybe I need to trick the guy. Maybe I need, maybe I need to trick the the prisoner guy. Too. I mean, the soldier guy too. But yes, yes, I love uh, I love the intro. You know, definitely definitely play the intro whenever you come in. Yes, awesome intro, isn't it? It is an awesome intro. I love it. Okay, so let's see. Now I need to get to that safe spot over here. There we go. Alright, I must be off to get enough sleep before tomorrow. Uh, nice catching up with you, Bowie. Good luck with Ghost Trick. Alright, no problem, Goron. You have a good rest of your uh, night. Have a good rest of your night, Goron. Thanks for stopping by. You have a good rest of your night. And yeah, take care. Thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, I have to go I have to go to San Francisco tomorrow for work, too. So, yeah. I'm for work, so... Ugh. Not looking forward to it. Yeah, you have a good night. Okay, next is the stairs. I have to avoid those guards somehow. But where should I lead you to? There isn't a safe spot anywhere. We'll, we'll just have to wait uh, till the guards go past. Somewhere on the stairs. Even the craziest spot will do. 
If it's strength you're worried about, I have plenty of that. Can you use that strength to knock the guards out for me? Well, they do say my punches are faster than a speeding bullet. I have my doubts about that, though. Yeah, I guess a punch is no match for a bullet. Oof, good luck with that, too. See ya. Alright, no problem. Thanks, uh, uh, Goron. Oh, man. So now I need to figure out how to get them get past these douchebags. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, and this guy's shows this guy shows up too. Maybe I can incapacitate them somehow. Ugh, okay, let's see. So wait, what's this guy's what's this guy's routine? Okay, so he goes this way. Oh, he goes all the way over here, too. So he goes all the way here. I see, I see. Oh, and there's another douchebag over here. Can't do anything with that. Maybe I can use the drums? Oh, interesting. And I can use this to, like, make him fall. Yeah, douchebag, take that, asshole. That's interesting that how there's hatches over here. This is gonna be a little bit complicated. Hmm. So how do I get to this part right here? This whole section seems complicated. It does seem complicated. I'm trying to figure this out. It does seem complicated, Gem. Well, I have an idea. I think I have an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work, though. I need to get rid of this guy, too. Oh, and then I can distract him with the bell. I can probably distract him with the bell. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. What? You want me to climb up into the ceiling? I think I can manage that. But as things stand, I don't have access right now. Could you open that hatch and create an entry point for me? Okay, so I have to create an, uh, open the hatch and create an entry point for him. Let's see. But then I need to distract this guy too. I need to distract him. Oh no, this douchebag's showing up. I'll check it out tomorrow. I need to distract him. I didn't want that guy showing up either. <laughs> it's gonna be really com- this is a very complicated section.
Don't we love stealth sections? Not really. Okay. So I can I think I can try to distract him again. And then this douchebag keeps popping up. Ugh, stop going that way. Oh god. Oh, definitely uh if you can't if you want to join the Discord uh, segment, definitely post it in Linky so that way that way I can take a look at it later cuz most most of the time I can't really watch the um I can't really watch the links, look at the links while I'm streaming. So if you want to join the Discord, you can and then you can post it in Linkies. That's the that's the channel where you can post all your links. And then when you join the Discord server at Sigma, uh, choose all your roles too. Choose all your roles so that way you can get notifications on, you know, on on intent on video game stuff like if it's for, you know, Mario or Final Fantasy or um or um let's see Souls games uh <coughs> anything like that. Uh, definitely choose your choose some roles too about about um when you join. Man. I think, okay, I think it's a good stop. I, I think this is a good, uh, there. And then I can go ahead and, and open up the hatch. No, you asshole! Oh my god! I thought it was the I thought the coast was clear. I just can't seem to find the break I need. Then you'll just have to make one. Then you'll just have then you'll just have to make one. Try to find a way. Maybe you can try calling me at, to all kinds of different places. I'm agreeable. I can go. I can go pretty much anywhere. This is such bullshit! Oh my god! Ugh. Okay, at least at least he's he's here. At least he's, uh, we have a stopping. We have a good check checkpoint here. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. Okay, let's see. Okay, that douchebag's going that way. Okay. I think I made it complicated. You know what? You know the reason why is, is because I made it complicated by having that third prison guard uh, start walking around. I think that's what I think that's what made things more complicated. He started walking around. And he started going downstairs too. I'm like, ugh. That's probably what happened. Okay, so is the other douchebag guard showing up yet? Let's see. No, go up, go up! Hey, what's up, Frodo? Oh shit, no! No, that's not what I wanted you to do. Ugh, go up! Why didn't he go up? What's up, Frodo? <gasps> oh, I was almost there! Oh my god, I was almost there! That's bullshit! I was almost there! Oh my god! Why? Uh... Oh my god. But hey, what's up, Frodo? This is so annoying. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So as you can see, Frodo, we're playing the Switch remaster of this game. I don't know if you noticed that, but we are. Premature finish. 
that's how I feel about my premature finishes. I mean, what? You did not? Okay. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, how was your fourth? How's your fourth, uh, Frodo? Did you have fun? Did you do any fireworks with, with your family and whatnot? Or did you just, like, sit at a- sit, sit and stare at a wall all- all day? No, I'm just kidding. I was almost there, Bowie! Oh my gosh, you can add that as a quote! You're- you can- you can add that as a- add that as a quote, Sigma. If- if- I post my dinner and food- Oh, cool, cool, Jamil! I'll take a look after the stream. Yeah, I definitely- I love- I definitely love looking at food pics. Let me add- let me do it. Let me- let me add the quote. Let me add the quote. Let's see. I'm sure it looks- I'm sure it looks really good. I'm sure it looks really good, Jamima. There, we added- <laughs> We added a quote. Nah, it's Doggo's birthday, so my family is much more interested in that. Aww. Yeah, it's much- Oh, so her birthday's on July 4th? I forgot about that. Aww. Oh yeah, I remember you posted- I remember you- Oh, kebabs! Ooh, that's- that does sound good. That does sound good, Jamima. I- oh yeah, you did po I remember you posted pictures on July 4th of your- of your do uh, dog getting like, you know, July 4th stuff on her- like a hat or something like that, or like a- uh, American flag, uh, scarf or something like that. I was so close! Okay, let's see. I have not Okay, so hopefully... Maybe he'll do a better job. Oh, finally! Oh, shit. Finally! Ooh, I love I love kebabs. That looks sound that sounds still delicious. Finally, we made it. Oh, jeez. Okay, so now I have to have him crawl underneath, probably. I bet you didn't think I could get up in here, did you? I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Anyway, this is a safe spot. It's not much further now. <sighs> Come on now, don't worry, we're almost there. Now we have the choice of either trying to sneak out or making a dash for it. I'll leave the route up to you. I love how easy they are. The kebabs, like, you, you know how to make kebabs? Cause you mean, I love kebabs, yummy yummy. Ooh, I love kebabs. Uh, I, love, I love Mediterranean food, it's so delicious. Yummy. <laughs> uh, that link I shared was in response to you saying douchebag. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I kind of saw, I kind of saw a preview of the link. These guys, these guards are douchebags. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think we made it. I think we made it somehow. So what happens if I? Let's see. I have an idea. Oh my god, he rolled! Look at him, look at him, look at him roll! Oh my god, that's so cute! Look at him roll! Oh my god, that's so silly. I love this game. Oh my god, I love the way he rolled! Oh my god, that was so cute. I love the fact that the main is saying what we are all thinking. The ugh. Yeah, me too! <laughs> He's like, ugh, I have to deal with stealth bullshit. I hate stealth stuff too. Even though I love the Metal Gear Solid games, even though I love the Metal Gear Solid games, I hate stealth stuff like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do a barrel roll! <laughs> he really was doing a barrel roll, you're right. Oh, I think I have an idea. Let's see. And then I'm gonna make him fall down. Asshole. 
Okay, then I'm gonna have him get up here, if he can. Let's see. Oh, dang! Dang! Wow! He's really... Uh... If I move now, I'm going to fall. Could you close the floor hatch for me? Dang, he's really... He's more athletic than I thought. Dang. Uh, I feel a little uncomfortable out in the open like this. I bet you do. You're wide open. Well, could you lead me to somewhere safe then? The guards can't help but notice me where I am now. Okay, so where's the other stupid guards? Oh shit! He's coming! He's coming! Oh fuck. Okay, we'll have him stay in this bunk. We'll have him stay in this bunk. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! So, what do you think? I'd say if we've come this far, you did it. Great job, Sissel. Oh, we did it! We finished it, I think. The basement generator has been repaired, restoring power to all areas. Oh, shit. <gasps> we made it! Whew, we just made it. But the question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. You better be kidding! But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know? I doubt anybody is welcome. I doubt anybody would welcome me with open arms. He's coming? Did you buy him dinner first? Oh my god! Oh my god, Sigma! Oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, we did some foreplay. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, we did. I mean, we, uh, we, uh, we played video games first. That's that's our foreplay. That's how we do foreplay. We play video games first. Oh my gosh. Why don't you try co contacting Lynn? She went to see some justice minister guy. So an escaped death row um, convict is supposed to just report into the justice minister. Is that it? Hmm, I kind of like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I better run. That would be nice, yes. Alright, Sissel, until we meet again. Yay, we did it! We're finally done with this bullshit uh, part of the game. So now I've saved a. So now I've saved a. So now I've saved a. So now I've saved a condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Was that really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in Lynn at this point. Detective Jowd was painting my picture in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. Yay, we finally did it! Oh my god. I can probably get out of here, too. Let's see, so, um... I certainly see the comedy aspect of this game. Yeah, it's, it's silly. But Detective Giles until we meet again came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to the guard room, the next fateful call came in. Oh, here's the here's a silly guy dancing. Oh my god, he's so fun. He's so goofy. This this is what I'm talking about when the game's silly. Hello, this is Sissel. Are you there? Hello, who's this? Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sissel, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you if you make it in time. That is. Hey, wait a minute. Trace complete! Man, that detective's really smart. He's. Hey! I... That call, who was it from? I don't know, some weird call. Ah, uh, but who? We'll call. We'll call. 
but who will call an end to my dancing? So yeah, that's what I'm talking about, how the, why this game's so silly. Yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop you. The writing is great, uh, the wit they use is perfect. You, you like this game, Jamima? That's awesome! I don't remember- I don't remember if you like the Ace Attorney games or not, Jamima. I think you'll like the Ace Attorney games if you like visual novels. I- I think if you- if you like this kind of writing, you'll love the Ace Attorney games. They're really funny, too. It's a contest, then. Which will stop first? My dancing? Or the turning of, or the turning of the planet? Yeah, the- <laughs> I'm glad that we played the- I'm, I'm glad we're- we're, um... I'm glad we're playing the remaster because <laughs> the guy's dancing looks so good in the remaster. Com in, the, in the original game, it, it was a more blurry. His, the way he dances is more blurry because he moves so much. But in this remaster, he's a lot, it's a lot more smooth and more silly looking. One second. Hey! I have played a bit of Ace and they are very fun. Yeah, they're really fun. One second. I saw you go through them. Yeah, right, 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 right. I remember now. Yeah, good luck with that. Well, if you want to get, if you want to see the guys all dancing, let's check it out. Hmm. I bet I could do that dance by now, but I'm more concerned with the message, with the detective's message. I better get over there fast. Oh my god, this guy's dancing is so goofy. I wanna... well... I wonder if... yeah, okay, I think we had enough of that. Alright, so now we need to go to the new place. Oh, I should've... I should've, uh... let you guys see the new animations for this too. Oh well. Well, on the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. He just jamming out. Oh no! That a great escape plan has ended in failure. Never expected to see you here, Inspector Cabanella. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What were you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. Did you guys see how? Did you guys see how the guy's uh, paint lines, the little paint marks, on his uh, on his uh, shirt, or whatever it is, it kind of reversed itself. That was kind of weird. <laughs> I came to, I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. Couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears. There you were, baby. Uh-oh, old friend, never good uh, sign. Yeah, this is actually- Okay, so, uh, what happened back then was that they- They- They both were detectives in the past. And then, um... And then, the guy- The- The guy with the paint marks on his- On his shirt, uh, is actually- He used to be a detective. And then he- and then, supposedly, there was a crime that- Uh, he committed a crime where he shot his wife to death. Uh, and then he got- then he was sent to jail because of that. So, um... So that's why they know each other. Because this guy's a de uh, Cap Capanella is also a detective too. But he's now- he, but he, he's promoted in rank, so he's more like a lieut- Some sort of like lieutenant. He's a higher up. He's some sort of lieutenant now, something like that. So now he's- he's in the he's a higher up now. And when I looked up, my eyes were- my eyes full of tears. There you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. Wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Because now that I've found you, man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay, you have to stay spotlessly clean after all. Uh-oh. Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, 
I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about, about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? Death is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right, your lost memory. You know things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? In return for tonight's fun little game, is that it? I saw it, you know. That picture you were painting in your cell tonight. That was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but... I can't talk to you about that now. What? Why not? Because I... I don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you one lead at least. It just seems whenever the term old friend, it never means good things. Yeah, that's true. That That is true. That is true, Jamima. Because, like, when you're an old friend, that, that means that you used to be friend, Like, you used to be friends, right? But then something happened to cause you to not be friends anymore. So you're an old friend. You're a friend from the past. But if you're, like, a, if you're still a friend, then he wouldn't be calling him old friend. He would be just calling him by his name or something, right? That's a, that's a good point. That's a good point, Jamima. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lin something to hold on to for me. It was a music box. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lin's apartment. And that's the only hope I can give you right now. That man pointing the gun at you right now. They say he's your good friend. Oh my god, Jamima! They were just... <laughs> where you just... They're just... They just brought up what you were about to bring... That you brought... They just brought up what you brought up. We were. When we were in the... De when we were in the detective division together, that was a long time ago. Now he's a le Now he's the head of the special investigation unit. The top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about right now. Uh, thinks about now. And that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat? For somebody looking to get promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're, mo they're afraid of most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. <laughs> Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? Oh, that's so symbolic! That's so symbolic of how, like, um, you know, Cabanella has no spots on his white coat, and yet... Detective Jowd has spot paint marks all over his body to to show like that he's he's uh you know he's um damaged goods he's damaged goods he's he has like lots of he made a lot of mistakes he has a checkered past that's so oh my god that's a, that's a really good uh that's a very very good uh app a very good symbolism that I see LOTR numerous movies and books I can't even think of them all all of them yeah. Right. I, yeah, I know. I know uh, about the old old friend trope, yeah. <laughs> if it was me, I'd go with the black coat and that didn't show the stains. Oh, that's smart. That is smart, Sissel. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. But everybody makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cabanella has chosen the path of the white coat. And he'd do anything. Anything at all. To hide this, his coat's shadows. Like send his good friend to the gallows. Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned uh, criminal after all. And that's why he has that gun pointed to, at me right now. Is your execution really the right thing to do? I had a fair trial and that's what was decided. No problem there. But still. This is the, punish this is the punishment that I should receive. In order to bring a final close to that case and pull it, put it to rest forever. Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now to trying to pr trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there. Uh, I I was sentenced to the death penalty for killing my wife Alma, but to me that's not all, that's not all it was for. What do you mean, that's not all it was for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What?
It was 10 years ago. I'll never forget it. Let's see if I can get it too. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it. Aw. I missed it. Oh man! I want it. I kinda want it now. Oh I got it! Ooh, I got it! Oh shit, I got it! I had, to, I had to like, I had to look at my own stream and time it right. I had to time the delay right. I got it. <laughs> it was ten years ago. I'll never forget it. That day, I saved the life of a little girl, and I stole away the life of a man. Ten years ago, the life of a little girl. Could that little girl be Lynn? And get you did! Yay! <laughs> She told you about that? Yeah, she said you were her you were her hero. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. S stay back. If you come any closer. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Ooh, flashback time. Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still young then. I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jowd, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> my hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, the man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. And shoot you did! And the man died. I took his life. I mean, he did take that girl hostage. I mean, it was for a good reason. Leda was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... Execution. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. Time for the big show of, of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. Tell you what, I, tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On what you on that you can rely. God, what an asshole. Sizzle, you've got your own path to follow. You better hurry. My own path? Lynn is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? It might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Hello? Everything's fine here. Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um, the chicken ki the chicken kitchen's next door. Goodbye. No, don't, oh, you idiot. Hmm, sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her out, would you, Sissel? Yeah, it does! Oh my god, the, whenever he turns around, it does change his uh, paint marks. Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. <gasps> What's it gonna do? Dang, this game looks so good! This thing, this game looks so good on the on the on the Switch. A present, if you will. There's nothing else. There's nothing else like it, baby. If there's nothing else like it, don't throw it. What's this? A pocket watch? Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. <laughs> Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is it, Sissel. Let me just leave you with one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eye with your own eyes. Fair point, LOL. I'll remember that. Asshole. I don't like Cabanella, honestly. There's something about him I don't like. <laughs> They're gone. There's nothing left here. Hey, what's up, cousin? Catnip? GG on getting the remaster. I can't watch too much as I'm going to do a replay, but let's go! Yes, what's up, Catnip? Yeah, we're, uh, we, so what I did was I, uh, I streamed the first nine chapters on the DS version, and then after that, um, and then yesterday, I, uh, I bought the, um, remaster version of this game, and then I, I, pl and then I played off stream up to chapter nine. I played off stream up to chapter nine, and then, um, and then, so that's what, and then we're, we're we got caught up to chap, uh, to this, to, uh, chapter nine on the remaster version, and then, so we're continuing where we left off, basically. Oh, damn, the commitment. Yeah, I know, I, I didn't want to stream the game again. I didn't want to stream the game again, uh, uh, uh up to chapter nine, because I feel like that's kind of boring, so that's what I want to, like, <laughs> just play it off stream so I can get to this point. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I hope you have, hope you're enjoying your, uh, Tuesday. But yeah, what's up, Cousin Catnip? They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope, and no cores either. Heatwave is brutal here. Brutal, haha. <laughs> hope isn't too hot for you. Oh, it hasn't been hot for- uh, Well, it hasn't been hot today. It hasn't been too hot, but for the past weekend it has been. There was a heat wave the whole weekend. Uh, so, um... I, uh, I didn't stream the whole weekend, unfortunately, so I had to wait until it got cool, uh, uh, it cooled down, because, like, on, uh, I think on, like, Saturday, it was, like, maybe, it might have been 100-something. Yeah, Saturday was, like, 100-something, and then, like, um, 101 or something like that, and then, uh, Sunday was, like, 96 degrees. Monday was, like, 80, 91 or something like that. 80, 89 to 91. And then, so, uh, so that's so I had to wait until Tuesday today tonight to uh, start streaming, but yeah, but yeah, glad to see you here, Cat Catnip. Thank you so much. Without any course, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I better go find Lin. Oh man, this, I'd, I'll follow the path Detective Zhao pointed out to me—the path to the Justice Minister's office, where Lin went to try and stop the execution. Oh shit. We tried to save Detective Zhao, but then we but then we couldn't save him. Douchebag Cabanella gone the way. So, but I'm honestly catnip? Honestly catnip, I think it was a good idea that I got the remastered version cuz man, this game this the graphics the the the, the remastered graphics obviously they look so much better than the DS graphics. So I'm glad that we're playing on this version instead. Um <laughs> Cause like if we played through the DS, the whole DS version all the way through, I don't think I'd be, I, I don't think I would enjoy, be able to enjoy the game. Uh, now knowing that the graphics on the, hey! the knowing that the graphics on the uh, the uh, HD remaster looks on the Switch looks so much better. I'm so glad I got this game. That's good to know they actually made some differences. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the graphics. Um, cause like when you want when you play the DS version. The graphics are like the um, particularly the models. They look kind of grainy and blurry, but with the but, but with the oh, remastered graphics, it's just so sm buttery smooth. Like when you like that part where you see the, the the silly guard dancing around. That what that's probably what made the game is seeing him dance so fluidly. Ooh, so good. I I feel like this this remaster does the game justice in making the characters actually more lifelike now that my assignment to stop the execution had ended in such an unsatisfactory way i decided to go see lin at the justice minister's office so yeah i can't wait to see to see you play it and you i'm sure you'll enjoy it too enjoy the differences detective jout's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily should i tell lin about it i just don't know Dang, 
looking. It does look pretty good. Oh my god, Lynn, what are you doing, Lynn? Oh my god, Lynn! Don't be, don't do, don't be a Monica. Don't be a Monica Lewinsky, Lynn. <laughs> oh my god. This time. <laughs> I mean, come on! Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I it, it, it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I had to clip that. I had I definitely had to clip that. <laughs> this time, Lynn isn't dead. But the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. Oh my god, Lynn! Oh my god! Lynn, are you doing are you thinking what I are you doing what I think you're doing? Are you Monica Lewinsky ing right now? Oh my god. Oh my god, jeez! This looks like such a bad... This looks so bad right now. Oh my god! Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, who should we talk first? We'll talk to him first. Thank Liz <laughs> Thanks. I'll have to look at that later. Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. He's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Hey, there you are! What kind of greeting is that? And shoving somebody's poor soul out of the way like that? Tisk tisk. I gotta say though, no matter where you go, somebody always seems to turn up dead. Sorry about that. Who is it this time? Is this the Justice Minister? Yeah, the man who signed the order to carry out Detective Zhao's execution. He was already dead when I got here. Oh boy. I wonder what happened this time. Well, and? How did it go? Was Detective Zhao still alive? He'd already been executed by the time I got there, but... I did manage to save him, but... You did? Oh, I'm so glad! Wait a minute, did you say but? I told Lin about my adventure at the prison. About that other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Jowd? I can't believe it! Inspector Cabanella would never betray De Detective Jowd! Just so you know, Detective Jowd himself said it was the right thing to do. Anyway, I better take care of the Justice Minister here. Right, and I have lots of questions for him too. Back we go then, to four minutes before his death. <laughs> oh, see? Oh my god, even the transition, uh, the transition animations look so good too. Oh my god, it looks so good. Four minutes before death. Oh my god, the Justice Minister looks so good. The remastered graphics are worth it. I at first I thought it was just gonna be like a you know let me go ahead let me go ahead and pause real quick. At first I thought it was gonna be just like you know one to one remake remaster, but it's just gonna be slightly touched up. But it was worth it. It was worth getting this game. It was worth getting the remaster. The graph the models are what make the game. The models look so much better. The like the backgrounds are are they're mostly the same. The the backgrounds are mostly the same. Of course they're touched up too. But the models are what are uh, the remaster models are what make this remaster worth it. Oh, excuse me. What? All right. I, I'll do as you say. This is terrible! <laughs> I wonder what's going on with him. Why doesn't she answer? Oh, it's about his ex-wife. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. 
Hey, what's up, Ichigo? Oh no, he died of a heart attack! Oh, oh my god! He died of a heart attack! Medicine! Oh no! God. So that's how he died. Water! Oh no! That's so that's how the Prime Minister died. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up. He is a contradiction. Contradiction? Oh dang, I know. The more we search for the truth, the further into dilemma we fall. The world of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher, two, he loses both. Oh, I don't know. To me, it looks like he could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. Or maybe I should say a pathetic man. That's, a more, that's the more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That the foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? Just call me a seeker of truth. Sidestepped that one, didn't he? <sighs> oh, this looks so good. Here we go. Emma! Oh, excuse me. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. Who is this? Amelie's tutor? What did tutor call you at this hour? No. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? My daughter. Is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Here for yourself. Papa, help! I'm gonna be killed! What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known, known the other day. Oh, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. With the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well to remember that. Ugh. And of course it goes without saying, we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, You'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand, understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. Alright, I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. Go there. <laughs> yeah, even the... Even the, like, the... Traveling, the telephone traveling graphics looks so good. Trace complete. <laughs> Apparently, the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea a word of tonight's deal had leaked. <laughs> Papa, help! Ooh, I'm gonna be killed! Oh, it was a recording! I hate you, Mama! Luckily, I managed to arrange it so that her, the Justice Minister could hear her voice. Oh, it's a trick! Oh, no, it's a trick! So, they didn't really kidnap the little girl. They just had a recording of the little girl. But that's what's taking the goods so long to arrive. 
I'm starting to get concerned. See? It was a trick. Right, Gengar? Gengar, Gengar. Yes, that was a trick. <laughs> I can't use the phone right now. Like I said, all women are like traps. That and this are hardly related. When in the past, I can only use the line when the phone is being used to make a call. Oh, shit. I like how whenever, like, we're, uh, going through, um, going through ghost tricks or whatnot, or going through, like, a uh, death prevention, I like how we have, like, little companions to hang out with us while we're doing that sometimes. Uh-oh. <laughs> this woman doesn't show any signs of moving from, this, from that spot. I can't use the telephone line either. Hmm. It looks like I fell into a trap. All women are like traps. Some are sweet traps, other are bitter. Don't you understand that? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think I'd better rethink things here. Yeah, I guess I had to re I guess I have to reset then. Man, this game looks so good on a big TV. Man, when you play this game on a small 3DS screen, it doesn't look as good, but obviously when on a big 55-inch TV that I have, it looks so much better. This game looks so much better. I'm glad that I got this remaster because not only the graphics do the do the graphics look a lot better, but the game looks a lot better because it's on a big screen. No heart, no need to think about too hard about this one. All I have to do is get his medicine to him. Pretty simple. But there's one more thing that concerns me. What was that telephone call that Justice Minister got all about? It was right after that that his health took, a, took an instant downturn. <sighs> I have never seen such a foolish, pathetic, and strange man. Uh, I think you better stop there. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm not going to go there this time. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not gonna go there this time. Good thing we can skip this text. No, we're gonna stay here. This is terrible! A kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure I know what that word what the word means. But it's apparently the cause of the prim of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. I better do something about that medicine. Uh-oh. Who's he calling now? I have to call my wife! I have to see if it's true! Maybe they called the wrong person! This minister doesn't accept the truth easily. He's morally bankrupt. Okay, now you're taking it too far. His wife won't answer for some reason. Hmm, a wife who doesn't think- who, do, who doesn't answer her phone. I think I know who that is. A morally bankrupt man deserves a morally bankrupt wife. Why doesn't that man understand that? Now I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. Can't really do anything here. So this medicine stops the minister's attacks, eh? If I could, I'd spill them onto his desk right now. But unfortunately, I can't even open the cap. What a shabby excuse for a man. Huh? He wears his important-looking uniform and sits working at his stately desk. What does he have inside? Nothing! A miserable, shabby excuse for a man. I think you've already said quite enough. Let's see, water pitcher. If only he could at least drink some of his water. Too bad he knocks his pitcher to the floor at the end of his four minutes. Such a stupid man. Huh? Once the water is spilled, there's no getting it back. And knowing this full well, 
Why do people still spill water pitchers? I don't know. Those who did not learn from history are doomed to repeat it? Alright, let's see. Let's see what happens if I do this. Nothing. I can't use the phone lines right now. What a befitting room for this man. Huh? It looks stately, but it's filled with nothing but useless trash. When in the past, I can only use a line when the phone is being used to make a call. I guess I'd better find another path. <laughs> Why doesn't she answer? Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I like the logic of this game. Like in the in the like when you enter the past, you can't really uh, telephone anywhere else. Because I guess because there's no like I guess in the past there's no such thing. Like there's no electricity only runs in whatever is being run. I guess. So you, you I guess in the telephone lines they don't you can't really go anywhere else unless electricity is being run between two connections, which is a phone call. I guess that's that's the that's the reasoning for the for going to why the past you can't dial dial up dial up uh, known places, but in the present you can dial up in known places. Uh oh, here it comes! His worry and anxiety have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man, huh? If one lives his life in fits, he is bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? But there wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. I can't give up now. I'm not sure what else to do. Let's see. Medicine! Wait! There you go. Now I'm over here. Raise. Close. Swing. Oh no! I just have to get this mess into the minister. But hmm, there are only a few seconds left. It isn't enough time. Such a short-sighted man, huh? Happiness escapes us just as we are about to pull it in. <laughs> we have to grab it while we can. Not only happiness, but dreams, love, and hope too. Clearly, someone here is overly naive. Anyway, there isn't enough time to do anything in the state. I think I better rethink this from the beginning. If he could just get some of that water, he might feel a little better. Did he just say something of a constructive? Okay, so I think I fucked up. So we'll have to go back in time again. <laughs> so maybe we need to go to go to go on the water pitcher instead. Now, how about the water? I can't do anything with that part. I guess I can't. Oh, I can't. To save the minister, I have to get him his medicine. But as things are, there is there just isn't enough time. Such unparalleled, on such unparalleled cowardice as man has. Before I get the medicine to him, I think I'm my, I think I have to buy him some time first. I guess I better rewind the clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can go ahead and skip this cutscene. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure this out. What what else can I do? 
Can't do anything with the flag waving. This guy is kind of screwed. So how do I buy him some time? And I can't... I can't really dial out to anywhere else. Let's see. Help raise. Let's see. Hanging basket, turn a rock. Frame hanger, undo. I see, I see. Now we can. Oh no, it's not it's not enough. Oh shit. Still not enough. That wasn't enough to to uh, push that thing. Maybe if I lower it? Swing. Still nothing. So yeah, no one killed him, but he killed himself. <laughs> That's interesting. He didn't, I mean, he wasn't, he didn't try to kill himself, but yeah. This is kind of tough. <laughs> How do I buy him some time, though? There has to be a better way. Hold on, I have an idea. What if I can go this way? Oh, I'm over here now. Interesting. So what's this all about? Let's see, globe spin. His stress killed him. Yeah, he killed himself because of the heart attack. Oh, it wasn't enough time. <laughs> this is pretty tricky. So yeah, I you might. I'm hopefully, hopefully, like you guys like this game now. Now that now that you see how fun it is to figure out how to prevent someone's death. So I mean, it's not really a, like a, like a, like a courtroom drama, but it's more like a murder mystery. So it's pretty fun. I hope, you know, I do hope that Shu Takami or Shu Takumi makes more uh, makes a sequel to this game. Let's see. I have to try something else. I have to be really fast, and quick about this though. I wonder if there's anything else I can do. So what happens if I spin it this way? Oh! Oh, interesting. But then... Hmm. 
But what's what, what good would this do though? What good would this do? Hmm. Oh yeah, and that's when he dies. Before I get the medicine to him, I think I have to buy some time first. That's what I'm trying to do though! How do I buy him time? This is really complicated. Hmm, there's nothing else over here. It feels like I have to do something over there. I have to m have the bottle move move me all the way over there. What can I do over here, though? Because I feel like I'm on the right track. I feel like I'm on the right track. I have to have him toss the bottle over here and do something over here. What What is it, though? Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out, but what is it? I did that. That didn't do shit either. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is really... Oh man, this is really hard. This one's a really hard puzzle. I'll be right back, guys. I need to go to the restroom real quick. I need to go to the restroom really quick. I'll be right back.
I'm back. <laughs> but yeah. That was, um... I don't know, this is a really tricky... This is a really tricky puzzle. Very tricky puzzle. Oh, man. Where's my... Oh. Where's my controller? Where'd it go? Now I can't seem to find my controller. Ugh. Oh my god, I just had the controller with me. Ugh. Where did I place that controller? Here it is, here it is. Okay, cool. Hmm. How do I buy him time? Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you, Jamima. Welcome back yourself. How do I buy him time? And then he gets the heart attack. Yeah, I don't get it either. Hmm. Maybe the wave? Maybe the- Oh, maybe I have to do something with this- with the water. I snuck over and ate it. Maybe I have to, like, push the water? So if I get him water first, maybe I can make it- prevent the water from toppling over. There we go, there we go! Oh, good, we got it! I was wondering if the flag would do something. I wonder if you snuggle over and ate my controller. Oh my gosh, Jamima. You like your your controller gobbler? Oh my god. <laughs> I was wondering if the flag would actually do something, but I wasn't sure. But hey, because I, I thought the flag wouldn't be strong enough to push the water pitcher over, but, it, but apparently it worked. There we go. Okay, we saved him for, for now. We saved him for now. There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. He's still breathing, apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay... At least now I bought some time <laughs> to get his medicine to him. <laughs> I like how Sissel's like... Like, rolling his eyes, he's like, uh, whatever, okay. Yay, we saved his life. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. Oh, no! But then, but then the medicine's all the way over there! The minister's fate has changed, but the situation still seems the same. You're hungry? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? I think I saw a path just for a second while the minister was drinking the water. Maybe I should start over from the beginning. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. After fate change. Did I miss something after he drank his water? So now he's stuck. Now he's stuck. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait and see what happens. So now there's no phone calls that'll be coming in because he the phone is off the hook. So then we need to see what else is going to happen. If something happens, if if and if I fucked up, then I'm gonna have to rewind time again. Okay, so oh, he's gonna die. <laughs> he's gonna die again. Oh boy.
Oh, he de he's dead again. Stop dying! Oh my god. He reminds me of Phoenix. Oh, he does? With his hair? Well, I managed to, well, I managed to buy some time, but I got distracted and missed my chance. It's easiest to fail after a success. It looks like I'll have to start over from the beginning. He might need the pills. Yeah, we yeah we know that Ichigo. We know we know that he needs the pills. But the thing is, though, when we saved his life after um uh, when we saved his life from uh, after we uh, got the water pitcher from falling, after we prevented the water pitcher from falling, the medicine bottle is actually uh, we couldn't get to the medicine bottle. But the thing is, though. Before we saved his life from, uh, with, after, with getting him water, before we saved his life from getting him water, we did try to, um, save him, save his life with the medicine bottle first. We tried to save his life with the medicine bottle first, but that didn't work either. We already, we already went through that part. So we already went through that path already. He's kind of fucked either way, I guess. No, his wit. Oh yeah, his wit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like Phoenix's sarcasm. Yeah, I Sissel Sissel sarcasm does remind me of uh, Phoenix's sarcasm too. I agree. So let's see. Because if we try to save his life, if we try to go the medicine route, yeah, it's dry humor. I like I like Phoenix's dry humor too. If you try to uh, go to the, go to the medicine bottle route, there's nothing else we can do there. Let me. I have an idea though. There has to be a way. There has to be a way. Let's try the medicine bottle route again. Okay. We'll we'll try this again. I don't know. <gasps> oh, I have an idea. <coughs> I have an idea now. I have an idea. I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. I have an idea. I have an idea. No, I don't think it's going to work, though. I don't think it's going to work. That's not what I wanted. Oh, shit, that's not what I wanted. We'll try again. This one's pretty tough. I never thought I never thought I'd be playing this game again. I never thought I'd be playing it again. Yeah, let's try this again. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's turn this and see what happens. I don't think anything's gonna happen, but we'll try anyway. Hmm, I'm not sure. There's so much. There's just such a time crunch. This is such a time crunch if you do the med route. Yeah, I know. This is this one's really tricky. <clears throat> because if I try to save him with the water, then I can't get to the medicine. So I, maybe I have to do both. Maybe I have to do both. 
somehow. That's probably what I have to do. I have to get the medicine bottle back and then save it with the water. But I don't know what to do with that part. Let's see. Yeah, because with the with the melon at the top, it's not big enough for me to put on the sword and then have the sword have enough length to push the metal to toss the metal medicine bottle back. So it's really tricky what I'm supposed to do. It's really, really tricky. So Maybe I have to, maybe you have to like, uh, see, so yeah, it's not big enough. I don't have enough time. So what was the point of doing that? Oh! Oh, interesting! Oh! So, something happened here. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. I wonder. Hmm. So what's... So it caused some, some sort of, like... Hmm. Hey! Yeah, I don't understand at all what they want you to do. I, I don't understand it either. But, but I think I see what they're trying to do. I think I see. I'm not sure. This one's really... Maybe I can make the medicine bottle? No, that wouldn't work either. I can't make the medicine bottle move. The game... I mean, you could easily... You could probably easily... Um, use your spare energy to make the medicine bottle rock around and move around, but the game doesn't want to make you do that. Yeah, I, I can't move around the mezzan bottle at all. But this is yeah, this is pretty tricky. <sighs> hmm. Let's see. I have an idea. Oh, it's too late! Oh man, it's too late. Is there anything you can do to the overhead fan? I thought I don't know. I tried to mess with the overhead fan, but the thing is though with my ghost reach, with my ghost reach from going from one object to another, I don't have enough reach to get to the fan. As you can see, I can't get to the fan that that easily. So maybe I'll, I'll try to save him with the water again. I'll try to save him with the water again.
there. And let's see what happens. Oh! Oh, I have an idea! Oh! I have an idea! The water... Let's see, let's see. <gasps> oh! I can get through the fan over here! <gasps> oh! Oh, I can get to the fan now! There, that should help. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, sweet shirt. Oh, hey, what's up, plush? What's up, plush? Yeah, we got, uh, got a Tripor shirt. And we're playing the remaster right now, uh, plush. He's still breathing, apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, I think I read this part already. Okay, so... We're now on the fan. Okay, let's see what, what happens. <gasps> oh! Oh! Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Oh! Okay. 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 Okay, now we have more sh more time. Now we have more time. Okay, good. Oh, awesome. Okay, great. Okay, time for the next step. Now, about this medicine bottle. But yeah, thanks, Plush. I love... See, I'm glad that we got this bigger webcam. I'm glad we got this bigger webcam so you can see more of my shirt. This, I, cause I with my old webcam you can't really see my shirts, but now with my with my new webcam you can see you know, there's a wider uh, viewing angle, so you can see my shirts now. Hey, what's up, plush? Are you enjoying your happy Fourth of July? Are you enjoying your Fourth of July, plush? If the minister is going to make a full recovery, I have to deliver this this thing to him. But how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? Yeah, now what exactly? I guess I'll have to. I guess I'll have just have to use my head instead. Okay, okay. Okay, so now we have. We're now we bought some time. Now we have more time than before. But now we need to figure out how to get him. Now how to? Hmm. This is really tricky. Yeah. Now what? I agree with you. I agree with you. Now what? Can't do that. Hmm. Because, because with the um, with the medicine bottle, the the when we play, try to get the melon on top of the medicine uh, on top of the sword to to get more reach. When we swing the sword, it doesn't get to the medicine bottle. It doesn't reach the medicine bottle. So we have to figure out something else. We have to figure out something else to get the medicine bottle. See, there's no reach. Even with the, even with the melon on it, it there's no reach. This thing's pretty heavy. It's got a good swing to it. It's sharp enough to cut the medicine ball in two, though. It's not long enough, is it? Such a reckless man, huh? Only cowards like to keep weapons around. What a truly dangerous thing to have around. In any case, I bet I could use this sword somehow. Yeah, but the thing is, though, you try to, like... You try to get the melon... ...on it, and it doesn't work. See, watch. I'll show you. Oh, whoop, wrong one. That was really loud. The urn is a lot heavier than it looks. It's made out of some pretty thick iron. I wouldn't want to drop that on my foot, but I don't have feet, so I, did get, so I guess I don't have to worry. Let's see... Well, we'll just we'll just fuck fuck around with some things. We'll we'll fuck around, and we'll see if we can try to figure things out that way. Let's see. Wait, let's get over. Let's get this. No, let's not yet. There. I wonder if this is going to do anything. This urn is pretty light. Once an urn is dropped, there's no getting it back. I guess I better think carefully about what I drop and when. Hmm. What I drop and when. Hmm. <gasps> oh! I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. Maybe. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. But let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, I see now. Well, yeah, let me... Uh, I'll try to figure it out, Ichigo. Let, uh, let me try to figure it, out, figure it out first. I'm... Let me see. I have an idea. I have an idea. Alright, let's see. I have an idea. Let's see. So here's what I'll do. Okay, let's see. I'll knock this down first, and then I'll have... Let's see. And then here's what I was trying to do. I'm gonna try to lower the banner first. Lower the little frame first thing, first. That's what I was trying to do. And then have... It's a pretty light frame for its size. There sure are a lot of things that can fall down in this room. Oh, okay, I see. I need to do it the other way. I need to put it, do it the other way. He's a fallen man. Huh? He deserves to have everything come tumbling down his head. I don't know about fallen man, but I, but you're talk about him, but you talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key here is what order the objects are dropped in. Yeah, exactly. I got it, I got it. So we need to go, we need to have the, uh, the black vase fall, fall last. Whoops, wrong one. You got this. Thank you, thank you. Oh no! No, wrong button. There we go. I think I got- I think I know what to do now. Alright, turn this. But we're not gonna turn it yet, though. We're not gonna turn it yet. I mean, we're not gonna rock it yet. We're not gonna rock it yet. Let's see. And then we're gonna drop this. Drunk, we're gonna drop this first. And then we're gonna drop this. Second. No! Ah, that's not what I wanted. Oh no, that's Well let's see. Let, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Maybe maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Actually, maybe this is what I want. Maybe, maybe this is what I want, actually. I think this is probably what I want. We'll rock this and see what happens. Oh, no! Oh, no, we need the other way around. I think we need the other way. Because that one, I thought it was going to roll, but it's not going to roll. We need the yellow one on top. But the thing is, though, the yellow one's gonna uh, go the other way, though. I think the yellow one's gonna go the other way. Let's find out. Let's find out. The yellow one does have a round, um, round side. It does have round sides. I, it can roll, but it seems like it's not gonna roll the other way, though. The left, it's not gonna roll to the left. It's gonna roll to the right. We'll, we'll just try it anyway. Okay. No! 
No! Ugh. That's not what I wanted. Ugh, shit. Oh, man, this is so tricky. I mean, that's why it's called Ghost Trick. I guess we'll... I guess we'll sh make this fall down. We'll see if it works. Okay. And then we'll, we'll have this fall down. See? If we do it that way... Then the then the, the yellow vase is not gonna fall, unless hmm, unless yeah, the yellow vase isn't gonna fall. But wait, I have an idea. No. Okay, that's not gonna work, is it? So the other way doesn't work either. Yeah, and then this... This doesn't even do... Oh, man, it doesn't do shit. It's very in-depth for sure. Makes you use your noggin a little... Yeah, I definitely, it definitely does make you use your brain. It's really tough. So let's see. Hey! Hey, what's up, Daniil? We're playing some ghost trick right now. It's so tough. This puzzle's so tough. Oh, man. This puzzle's really tough. Hey! Yeah, Gem's here, too. Gem's here, too, uh, Daniil. This one's so tough. Hmm. Can I still get the melon to move over or something? How's... How's the rest of your stream, Gem? Yeah, how was the rest of your stream? I was... I actually wanted to... Oh, yeah, that's right, Gem. I, I did see you streaming. I did see you streaming. I did want to go watch you stream, but then I fell asleep. I took... I, that's why I went earlier in the stream... Earlier in the stream, I was saying I was taking a nap. And then I, I, I think I took a nap whenever you're streaming. Hey. I think I, I think I took a nap when you were streaming. I didn't want to come to watch you stream, but I was so tired. Oh man, this one's tough. But yeah, how was your stream? What, what were you streaming earlier? What were you streaming earlier, Jem? Let's see. Man, this is so tough. What can I do? Thanks. It was good, thanks. Beat Bowser and played some Sims. Oh, cool! What what game? What Mario game did you play for Bowser? This is so tough. This is so tough. Oh man, okay. Have you ever played Ghost Trick before, Daniil? It was a short cast. Oh, I see. Man, this one's so tough. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I should do.
What can I do? Cause like, look, look, I'll show you this. If I if I try to do it this way, if I try to do it this way, it won't work. It obviously won't work. See, the 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 sword won't have enough reach. So that's why you can't do it that way. Hmm, that was so close. If this if the swing just had a little more reach to it, I think I better look for something else. Maybe I need the hmm. You did a six, Mario 64 randomizer. Oh, cool! That's awesome. That's awesome, Jamima. See, that's why I can't do it right now. This is so tough. Okay, so... So now what? I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. This is so fucking stu uh, stupid. Well, that sounds so fun. It does sound fun! That randomizer? Probably more fun than this pu stupid puzzle right here. I'm gonna be so stuck on this dumb puzzle. Oh my god. I feel like I feel like I feel like when I played this game like 13 years ago, I probably would I probably would have figured this out a lot faster for some reason. There has to be something I'm not see I'm not getting. There has to be something. So he says something about the order. Okay. Fuck. Hang basket turn. Should I... So... Let me think... Okay, I'm gonna try to figure this out. Uh, no hints, guys. No hints. No hints, guys. Uh, so maybe if I... Uh, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. What if I do... Okay, I'm gonna try to do it the other way again. I'm gonna try to do it the other way again. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. I'll try it, I'll try it. Let's see. if this works. It didn't work last time, but whatever. See? Okay, so we did it this way. Oh! I see! Oh! Oh! I see! I see! You can still make the... You can make the globe roll! Oh! I get it! I get it now. Oh, I see. You can make the globe roll. That's important. So that's yeah. That's why you have to pay attention to like every object and see what can what you can do with every object. I felt like you couldn't do anything with the globe after you moved it around, but you still can. Interesting. Oh, okay, okay. We got it. We got it. We got. We did it. We did it. Okay, cool. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, we did it. Oh fuck. That was so annoying. There you go! There you go! Oh my god. That was not apparent. That was so not apparent. But knowing that you can move the globe made the difference. Ah! Dang, he drank a- he took a lot of those pills. There, the minister finally took his medicine. I think maybe he, he even took too much medicine. I wouldn't know what to even hint, so I'm just gonna cheer you on, because I don't know what to do. Oh, oof. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, Jem. But we figured it out. Oh my god. Such a greedy man. 
Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules of water! Why doesn't he know that? Ah, oh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? He's fine now. Fate averted! Phew, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. Ugh, we did it. Jeez. That was complicated as shit. That was complicated as shit. And so the Justice Minister is now back to life. But the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. And apparently our Lady Detective is the present cause of those furrows. Look, Detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial. And the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no- but there was no evidence! All they had was his own confession! But it was no ordinary confession, it was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me! Mr. Minister, please listen to me! I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight! What? So please, please, just give me a little more time! I just got a call from the present. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, he, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. But, but, but... When he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No! But, but when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duty as, a, as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Oh, cool. Let's see. Lynn looks like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. If I can get to her... Let's see. Oh, right. Sizzle, there you are! It sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. He has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lynn about I told Lynn what I had learned about the kidnapping. Oh my god, everyone's so purple. D uh Plush is purple, Jamima's purple, purple. Plush is purple, Jamima's purple, Daniel's purple. Everyone's so purple. K kidnapping? They kidnapped the justice minister's daughter? Apparently. Oh my goodness. I'm red. I know, yeah. Ichigo's red. But still... That's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister, then? Hmm. The poor man. I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way. Do you think you could carry me? Oh, right, sure. Not very handy, is it, having no legs? I'm the loner who stands out from the crowd, lol. I mean, sometimes it's good to stand out. Sometimes it's good to stand it out. Oh my god, she just carries the whole thing. What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this, um, <laughs> Pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. 
By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question, were you talking to somebody just now? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing as ghosts, right? See, I told you, I told you this game isn't scary, Jamima. It's, it's just silly. It's just silly. Uh, funny, silly, funny. It's not scary. It's not. It's not scary at all. It's. Uh, it's more like. I mean, you can't really call. I mean, I just. When you when you play this game, you, you can't really call it a horror game. Honestly, it's not really a horror game at all. It's 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 more like paranormal comedy. It's not, like it's not even scary. It's not even silly funny. I mean, it's not even silly scary like Ghostbusters. It's not even silly scary like Ghostbusters. It's more like it's just a paranormal comedy. Are you talking about me? Ah! No, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me. <laughs> so now I'm a dream, eh? Mr. Minister, we know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. Gah! Gah! Your medicine, your medicine! Gah! <laughs> Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he hasn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Amelie. But what if that execution isn't the right thing to do? Gah! Come on, Lin. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, it very puzzle heavy. More than anything and funny, yeah. We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping. And the only way I, I know now. Okay, let's go talk to him. We meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. Uh, I'm not a dream. Looks like it's just a taste. It look like looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. I think you're right, stubborn mis justice minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. Don't you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? I mean, the demand was to carry out an an execution that was already set to be carried out. It's just like the minister said, there's no need for such a kidnapping. Hmm, you might be right. Are you talking to somebody again? No, no, there's no such thing, no such thing! I'm a realist, I'll never believe in them! Not in the existence of ghosts, not in the escape from prison, not in this escape from prison, not, and not in this kidnapping! Hmm, this realist is running away from several very real facts. At high speed, too. Anyway, let me try to find and find out more about this kidnapping. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. Oh, that's right. You have their telephone number. I think I'll go see what these kidnappers look like. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Stupid useless minister. You're not a justice minister. You're a useless minister. All right, let's go look at the douchebag kidnappers. Yeah, this look like the even the animations are so buttery smooth compared to the original. Like the originals was like really like like it, the frames per second were like a lot less, so it was it was it was um it wasn't it's not as smooth. Kind of choppy, like you know, because 3ds graphics are kind of 3ds uh, frame rates are kind of choppy. I really should pay the kidnappers hideout a visit. After all. If we want the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery, but I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble. So I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. 
So as so the so the whole point of this game is to figure out Sissel's identity, to figure out who Sissel really is. And I already know about the plot twist at the end since I played this game already. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but yeah, it's a really good plot twist. You're not you are not gonna be able to uh, figure out who Sissel really is. So um, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna it's it's going to blindside you. This this twist is going to blindside you. Chapter 11, 12, 10 a.m. Oh, dang, we're already at two chapters uh, in. The Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of the death row prisoner, Jowd, to be carried out tonight. Lynn says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. Ugh. Excuse me. And so I'm playing. And so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. What took you so long? Your instinct was right, Beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Dang, she look this they look so good. They look so good in this game. Next time, maybe you should make it to make it a tricycle. And so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. Is he us? LOL. Oh my gosh. Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes. Always keep a smile on a lady's face, right, my dear? This place looks a little bit familiar. This place looks a little familiar. There. See that, beauty? Now there's a smile blooming in on your face, too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. He likes big women. He likes tall women. Oh my god. He's like, carry me. He, <laughs> I bet some men, I bet some men like, you know, have like a tall woman fetish. Like, I think I feel like they like being dominated by like women that are taller than them. So th he probably has a fetish like that. He's like, up, he's like, up, up. <laughs> when he wants to be carried around by her. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right, I'll dream of you until your return. Yeah, he definitely like he definitely likes tall women. They're perfect for each other. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. All right, let me just try to do a different voice for him. All right, little lady, let me open that trunk for you. Oh god. Beauty. It looks like the Justice Minister's daughter ha really has been kidnapped. And something else is bothering me too. This place looks very familiar. I don't think I've ever been, been to this room before. But something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. Yeah, we have been here before. Well, we have been to a place similar to this before. This place has a very... It is pretty similar to the other place we've been to. So this is a different place, but very similar. Taking something precious to me to manipulate others. So that's what kidnapping is. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Now then, time to see how the mist... How the Justice Minister's little girl is doing before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Let's see. There's a lot of different objects I can possess.
Wherever I possess a- whenever I possess a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to send something flying with it. These ghost tricks are kind of addictive. Oh, I see what to do. Maybe I have to drop one of these. Yeah, I have to drop one of these. Or not. Okay, that didn't work. Let's see, burn brighter. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, I see, I see. There you go. Spin faster. Let's see, decoration. Can I reach that? Let's see, shade lower. This game does look pretty good. It looks so good on this on the Switch. I don't regret getting this game. Candle sconce move. This is one of those things you light with fire, isn't it? As long as there's light in the room, is something like this really necessary? But if something can be lit, it kind of makes me want to light it. I need another core to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core. Hey, what's up, scheming? Oh my gosh, what's up, scheming? <clears throat> but yeah, scheming, guess what? We're playing the remaster. A bit busy, but we'll be here in a few minutes. Alright, no problem. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, scheming. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is worth uh, getting. The remaster is worth getting. Um, cause like, okay, so what I did was I bought this game last night and I played this game off stream all the way up to where we left off in the original DS version. So now we're at the part, so now we're, we've been streaming since, for tonight's stream, we've been streaming since we, um, since, um, we've been streaming on the part where we left off from the DS version. Now we're on the Switch version and we're on chapter nine on the Switch version. Oh, is he going to say something new? The shelf is suspended by very thin cords. They look like they're about to break. I bet it'd be quite a spectacle if it fell. If something can break, it kind of makes me want to break it. Darn. I can't reach my destination from, from here. Yeah, I definitely can't reach it. Hmm. This place does look familiar. Can't light it up yet. What happens if I swing, uh, spin it faster? Oh! Well, we definitely need that candlelight, for sure. Okay. So we need the candle. We need to do something with the candle. Or not. Maybe, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. I don't know if I did made it. I don't know if I made a good made a good decision doing that, but we'll see.
Let's see if I can get any farther. Okay, we got farther here. So party popper fire. Let's see. Balance toy spin. Maybe we might we shouldn't yet. Cake box. Party popper. Hmm. So what happens if I do mess with this? Oh no! So what's happening now? Just my imagination! Just my imagination, that's all he has to say? If he was any more laid back, he'd fall right off that crate. But look at that streamer go spinning around and around. Yeah, I, I look at me spinning around and around. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, how can I make use of that? Oh, the fire! Oh, I see. I know what to do. What happens if I do this? Oh, I see. I see. Just my imagination. Yeah, just my imagination. Yeah. <laughs> like a gangster. I have an idea. Just my imagination, that's all he has to say? What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? I know what to do. I know how to make it uh, use it to your advantage. I know how. Let's see. Oh, crap. So now I can't get there. See how the game doesn't purposely doesn't let you do ghost tricks while this is an animate while this is animated? That's interesting. So the game does have does take some liberties on whether you can do ghost tricks while you're while the object's animated or not for game purposes, game design purposes. Because whenever like Whenever like the the fan was spinning in the other other area, or when the papers are flying, I think I'm not sure if the if the papers are flying around. Could I do ghost tricks while it was flying around? When the fan was spinning, I could do some. I could do a ghost trick. So this game does take some liberties. Let's see. Now I need to spin it faster. Man, I was trying to see it so I can make it so that the it gets lit by the fire, but that didn't work. Oh man, that did not work. I was so close too. Oh, I have to burn it brighter, that's why. And then do this. Oh, I see, I see. And let's see if it works now. There we go, there we go, we got it, we got it. This one's, this puzzle's not as hard. So there's puzzles for when you need to get from one place to another, and you need to ghost trick your way through. And then there's puzzles when you need to save someone's life, and you have to get from one place to another, or try to perform an, a specific action, and you need to ghost your way, ghost trick your way through for that too. So there's different per there's different situations where you have to use you have to do your do your ghost tricks. Two different kinds of situations. All right, let's see. So the party... Okay, now we need to get the streamers up. There we go. And light the candle. And then it's gonna burn that and make it fall. And that can create, give me a path to get to little girl. If the little girl's in there. Just my imagination. This guy's awfully simple, yeah. So yay, we found a path. There we go. Let's open it. 
So who's in it? it? It's oh, it's not the little girl. It's 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 Camilla. What in the? What's going on here? This little lady is. Is this little lady really a daughter of the Justice Minister? Hmm. It's certainly not her. It's definitely not the daughter, but it is Camilla, and we still need to save her. Just my imagination. Well, what's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, I always keep a smile on a lady's face. I want to treat our guests well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. What does, does bread and milk actually taste good together? I never thought it would. Maybe if the bread tasted sweet, it probably tastes good. But bread and milk? Who drinks bread and milk together? Unless it was like a sweet biscuit. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady? More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been... kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house! Hmm? This house is... where I used to live. What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this, beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh, oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my bread and milk? Oh, of course. Now, you be a good girl while I'm gone. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home! Not quite yet. This dilapidated, this dilapidated place was Camilla's old house? What's going on here? Go talk to Camilla. What in the world? Why does the little lady have a corner of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean... She must have died sometime after that. And it also means... Somebody else must have saved her. Ooh, the... The, 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 the game's getting really good. So... So if you guys are confused as to why she he mentioned a core... So that yellow little circle that Camilla has right now, the purple haired girl has right now, she has a core, so that yellow circle means that she died. So whenever we save someone's life, they usually have a core, um, and, and they've been talked to. They have to be talked to, they have to be communicate, you have to, commu you have to communicate with the dead person when they're, when they're conscious, when the dead person's conscious, in order for them to have a core. But if they are, but if you save their life without ever talking to them when they're the, the when the dead person's ghost was conscious, then they're never going to form a core. But since she was conscious and she's been and she was talking to the other person who saved her, um, when she was when her ghost was conscious, that's when she forms a core. So that's what happened. I guess the core indicates that you've. I get you have a semblance of yourself, I guess. But if you don't have a semblance of yourself, um, that means you never awakened as a ghost. And you never had you were never conscious as a ghost. I better ask her what happened. Who's there? Oh wait a minute, is that you? Missile! Missile! I'm sorry, I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. Sissel? My name is Camilla. Camilla. So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? 
What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing is... I can hardly tell the poor little thing this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute, maybe I do remember. Sort of. You do? It looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm, so there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy, eh? Ahem. <clears throat> Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the uh, chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone to that park. What park? Tempsic Park. Oh my god, I just realized Tempsic Park is backwards for Kismet. I forgot what Kismet means. Let's see, what does Kismet mean? I know Kismet seems some means something. What what chance did I uh destiny, fate. Yeah, oh okay, okay. Kismet means destiny, fate. Oh, it's it's been, it's destiny fate for everyone to meet like this. Kismet. So kismet comes from the Arabic word kisma, which meant which which means portion or lot. This is in part due to how kismet came into the language and where it came from. Kismet was borrowed into English in the early 1800s from Turkish, where 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 it was used as a synonym synonym for fate. Oh. So I am Confucius. Hey, what's up, Trevi? Oh my God, Bowie, why change name? You confuse me. Well, I made a chain. I made a name change, um, because I want to be more of a Nintendo streamer. So now I'm an. Um, so I changed my username to have a to have a more Nintendo feel to it. I still love you so much. Oh, I love you too, Drevy. Long time no see, Drevy. So yeah, uh, we have. Um, so I changed my username so that way, cause like V Booey was okay. It was a, it was a decent username, but it didn't ha it didn't have much of a strong meaning. So I want to have my username have more of a Nintendo's me, uh, Nintendo feel to it. So that way people know I stream Nintendo games. So that's why I changed my username again. <laughs> but I think this will be a more, a more permanent username change. I think I'm going to keep this from now on for a while. But hey, Drevy, how's your, fa how's your 4th of July been? Tamsic Park. It's a, it's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, I love you too, Drevy. Yeah, Lynn always said. I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. I have a lot of people uh, I follow, so when people change names, I often like, I can't remember who that is. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. I, um. Yeah, I, um. I want, I think I was, I think I needed a name change anyway. But yeah, I hope you do like the name change. And we're playing some, um, we're playing uh, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective right now. And I'm glad that, I'm glad that the streams, I'm glad that the streams are still working. So a lot, a lot has changed since, since you've been here. I actually got a new laptop too. I got a new laptop. So I actually, um, so I was hoping before we do the Zelda marathon, I was hoping, be, I was hoping before we do the Zelda marathon, I can test stream a, a game. So I decided to go test stream Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. I restreamed uh, half of the game. We streamed half of the game on the DS, and then so the DS streaming works. And then I decided to go get the uh, remastered version on the Switch. And so I, what I did was I streamed. No, I'm not streamed. What I did was I played this game off stream. I played this game off. I played this remaster off stream, so that way I can get to chapter nine, where which is where we left off on the DS version. So here's where. So we're here. We are. So we're at. The uh, we're at the chapter we're at the part where we left off a few hours ago, and we're two chapters in after we left off. So now we're, and so we're, we're able to stream. So it looks like streaming on the Switch is actually uh, working pretty well too. Um, I makes if it makes you happy, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, it, it's I like I like the new name change. A lot of people seem to like it too. Uh, for your information, your mic's a bit hot, but sorry, 
so are you so so are you so um what do you, what do you mean by my mic's a bit hot is it too loud what does it mean when you say your my, my mic's a little bit hot what does that mean does that mean it's too loud but yeah thank you i am hot gain is too high okay yeah i, I figured See. Yeah, oh yeah, it is too high. There, is that better? Is that better? Is that better now? Let me know. Let's see. Yes, it's better? Okay, cool. There. But yeah, have you been? How's your how's your fourth of July been, Drevy? I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temsic Park, eh? Which is backwards for Kismet. What am I going to do? Lynn's going to be bad. I have a hard time explaining to people. Why, why is that? Why is that, Drevy? She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right, the music box. You can turn up the volume, but the gain is special. Right. Yeah, I, I know. I know how game works. I know how game works, but I didn't know it was too loud though. Because it, it absorbs. It helps absorb your your mic, your 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 voice, your odd, your your sound. It helps. The game helps absorb more of the, your 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 um your um your voice. So so it makes it so it it's, it makes it too exponentially higher, right? But yeah, I, I know how game works. I'm doing better uh, each day. That's awesome. That's awesome, Jevy. Yeah, I didn't really do too much for uh, uh, Fourth of July weekend because it was too hot. I want. Uh, I couldn't really uh, stream on Fourth of July weekend because it was like hundred something degrees on Saturday and then ninety some. It was in the high nineties on Sunday and then on Monday it was still in the early night. Uh, the it was still in the low nineties and on Monday, so I had to wait until Tuesday night to stream. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little a bit of luck and courage. But guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know. Where? I'll pretend I don't know. You know. You don't have to humor me. Oops. So what happened to the music box? I hid in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just before? Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. Yeah, for today, today I actually took a nap. I took a long nap uh, this whole afternoon, so I was really tired. After I ate, I went to go eat um, a bread bowl and a sandwich, and and that made me really tired. So I went to sleep all day. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better let Lynn know. This is your old house. Yep, this is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't, uh, isn't she? Yep. She's she's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. Is she? Is he the Justice Minister? My father is... gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away? No, that's not it. My dad. He's going to die. It's all because of me. What? What do you mean because of me? <gasps> Ooh, he's Detective Jow. Ooh, so Camilla is Detective Jow's daughter. <gasps> so, okay. So, whenever Detective Jow saved Lynn's life, she was indebted to him, so she, she became a detective herself. But then whenever she found out that Detective Jow was a... Um, Supposedly killed his wife, and then his and then, and then his um, child watched. That child must have been Camilla. <gasps> oh shit! And then that's when, whenever Detective Jout had to be put away for prison, that's when Lynn took her in because she didn't have any parents, because her because her mother got supposedly got shot by Detective Jout, and then Detective Jout, her father got put away in prison so there's no one to take care of her 
Oh. So she must be. I don't remember. So I have I have played and beaten this game before. I have played and beaten this game before, but it's been 13 years since I played it, so I don't really remember the story. Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. No way. Don't tell me your father is Detective Jowd. That's right. When the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream. But it wasn't a dream. Five years ago, that murder case. Ooh, shit's getting good. Ooh. It was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. <gasps> Ooh, oh my god. I'm home, Camilla. Why is it dark? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. No wonder this is so familiar. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> no wonder. Oh no! Camilla, she accidentally shot her, killed her mom. Mom! Mom! What was that noise? I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. Hmm. I know that contraption. I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake? A birthday message? My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. I knew it. You murderer. You need to go. To, you need to go to jail, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you need to go to jail. You need to atone for your sins, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's what you see. It's your fault. Your dad has to go to prison. It's your fault, bitch. Don't fuck with me. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, what's up, scheming? What's up, scheming? But yeah, welcome back, welcome back. So, scheming, um... So, just to, just to, uh, I don't know if you were here when I was ex explaining, but just to fill you in on what happened, uh, why, uh, on what's going on, I'm actually playing the Switch version right now, and you wanted to get rid of the God Anime button. Yeah, I should, I should keep it. But yeah... <laughs> That's what Camilla would say. Don't fuck with me. I got, I got an anime on my side. Oh my god. But yeah, scheming. Um, so, we're at, so we're not playing the DS version anymore. We're not playing the DS version anymore. Rem remember how we got up to chapter 9 in the DS version? So last night, I actually uh, decided to go get the remastered version. So I got decided to go get the remastered version and then play off stream. Play off stream until I get to chapter 9. And that's what, we, that's what I did yesterday. So now we're, we're now we're now caught up on the remaster version, and uh, t on tonight's stream. So we were we've been playing for, since chapter nine onward. So we're not we're on the Switch version, and man, the Switch version looks so good. Scheming, I'm I don't regret getting the, Sw the Switch version. The graphics look a lot better. They look a lot lot smoother. So this is actually um, I actually uh, am am I don't regret at all getting this version. It looks so good. And, and and considering considering that I had to play the game on a small DS screen, a small DS 3DS screen, so the game wasn't as smooth as choppy. The frame rates were choppy. The graphics weren't as detailed or smooth. So now that I'm playing on a bigger screen, I'm playing on a 55 inch screen. Oh my gosh! You're my boo A. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Drebby. Thank you so much for the two months sub. Thank you. Thank you, Drebby. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. You're my buoy. Oh my gosh. You're all my buoys. 
But thank you so much, uh, Drebby, for the two months. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Aw, thank you, Drebby. But yeah, I really appreciate you uh, subscribing for two months, Drebby. But yeah, I... We're, uh, if you're a Zelda fan, we're getting to Zelda soon. We're going, we're getting a Zelda after we finish uh, Phantom, uh, a Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. You are a wonderful human. Oh, thank you, Drevy. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I really appreciate the the sub. Thank you, thank you so much. But yeah, um, <coughs> but yeah, this is. I don't regret getting the Switch version. Uh, scheming, it's it's really good. It's worth it. I, and playing this on a 55 inch screen. And seeing the better graphics on the 55-inch screen, it looks so it looks so good. I definitely recommend getting it. How much difference is there between this and the original, like story or gameplay-wise? It's exactly the same story. It's no, there's no, there's nothing uh, different uh, added for uh, for the story. Gameplay is pretty much the same. Gameplay is pretty much the same too, except you can actually fast forward already. I think in the original game, if the game wouldn't let you fast forward. Um, like the text, but in this version you can already. But you have to set it. You have, but you have to. Yeah, you, you have to turn on the setting. You have to turn on the setting to fast forward. So, this game is pretty much the same, except it has better graphics. It has some a tiny bit of quality of life uh, appro uh, improvements. Yeah, and I'm glad that I can see this game on a bigger screen. That's for sure. My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is also unbelievably tra unbelievably tragic. I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Jout's daughter? I, ju I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. Oh my god, I, I like how I like how Sissel keeps forgetting that People can read their mind. People can read in the in the land of the dead. People can read each other's minds. So it, <laughs> I like how he forgets. I feel like this game is more enjoyable. I feel like this game is more enjoyable on this on the Switch remaster. I feel like because like I because this game was released 13 years ago on the DS, and I feel like it was it didn't the DS didn't really do the game justice. Like I feel like this game was uh was uh didn't fulfill its potential as a ds game like the graphics were so watered down i mean the graphics were unique but they were watered down so so uh, so there wasn't a lot of word of mouth about this game even though it was a pretty good game but now that i'm playing this on the switch on a on a giant screen you can appreciate the graphics and you can appreciate the story a lot better i feel like it's it, i i actually like this game a lot more now i actually do like this game a lot more so it was a good idea that we played the, the remastered version uh, from now on. This game is a lot. I, I I thought the game was decent when I first played it on the DS, but I feel, but I think that's probably why I didn't like it as much because it was on the DS. But now that's on the Switch, it's a lot better. I really like it a lot more. So there isn't much change like story-wise. I think he said he added some new stuff to this. I'm not sure. I don't see anything new concerning the story. But the thing is, though, scheming. I played this 13 years ago, so I don't really remember the story anymore. But yeah, I don't really remember the story more after thir after I played this 13 years ago. Oops. There are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy, you're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. You just hold on a little longer, alright? Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Let me go save first. Oh, I can't save. Don't forget, you promised, sissy! Update the phone book. She's like being all casual. What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late, and all the shops are closed. He's pretty cute, though. The little short guy's pretty cute. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? 
Yes, and he's the one who chose his location. Hmm, I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work, all for the sake of this deal. I wonder, I have a feeling I know who it is. I have a feeling I'm, I know who it is. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. See? As you guys, as you guys can see, the graphics look so much better on this game, on this remaster. As opposed to the DS graphics, this graphic, the, the remaster graphics make them come to life more. Because I feel like, I feel like on the DS, the models on the DS look more dead. On the remastered version, the characters look, uh, the, re the remastered models on the, on the Switch version look more lifelike. I feel like this is worth a purchase. This is definitely worth a purchase. Alright, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here, in this room. Dang, she looks so smooth. And, and so bright. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. Dang, she looks so good. So does the guy, too. Alright, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady. <laughs> Camilla's like... <laughs> Just like being shoved in. <laughs> I can really appreciate the antics too. I can really appreciate the antics on the on this remaster as well. It looks a lot better. All of a sudden, I'm left beh behind alone. Alone in the room that stole that little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady is gone now leaving me with, with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know about all this? Dun, 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 dun. I sent you a message through Discord for review. All right, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and take, take a look real quick. Uh-oh. I'm not sure. Hold on, give me one second.
Alright, cool. <clears throat> other than other, th one other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense her presence. Some of that kidnapper's final. The some of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Yeah, I wonder what happened. Why do the why do the kidnappers know that there's you know that ghosts exist and they can uh, that they have powers of the dead too? Chapter twelve, twelve twenty five a.m. It looks like the kidnappers made one made a. It looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jowd's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The, dev the devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. I told Lynn what I had found about out about the kidnapping. That it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been, who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house. Oh, dang. And that they sensed my presence and were already gone. But Camilla... Why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister. I think the stupid old part was a, was a little uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl! Daddy does not Oh approve. my gosh! Welcome back, Flush! The poor girl! Kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution! It's just too much! That's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other twists, too. Like the kidnappers winding up and uh, and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could be just coincidence. And them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I told you before, detective. I want you to stand back. <laughs> I like how she bangs on the counter just like uh, in the Ace Attorney games. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. And also, it makes sense. It makes sense that, you know, it, it, it isn't his daughter. Because if, if, if the Justice Minister was able to call his wife, and, and if the, uh, yeah, yeah, if the wife was able to answer her phone, if she if she want if she felt like it if she wanted to, she would have known. She would have been able to tell the justice minister that their daughter is is fine. Well, fine as she can be. She's still a little bit. She's still sick, but she's fine uh, otherwise, and in bed. And then the justice minister would be, would, would be able to call off the like, execution. But he, but she's not answering though. She's not answering. Ah. How can I believe in you? I'm a realist! Please! If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times, my wife won't answer. She won't? It's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it! And I'm being watched, and I can't have the police go check for me. 
Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make if, if that, that, that is not my daughter? That's true. It's a good point. Ooh wee! That's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. <gasps> is it Cabanella? I knew it. Miss me, baby. Inspector Cabanella. I, I um, Lynn's Lynn's attire is kind of. It's kind of interesting. She wears like some sort of like, some sort of skirt, and then she's a wears a coat over the skirt. What kind of what kind of attire is that that she's wearing? I have a little report for you, Mister Minister. I like everyone's attire. Everyone's attire seems really interesting. They have. I feel like the F Ace Attorney. I feel like the Ace Attorney. Uh, game. Um. Um. Character designers have a real a lot of uh, so they have a lot of sense of style. That, that much I that much I can see. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. I thought th thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Dang! Even Inspector Capadell looks really good in this game. He looks really good. Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd, I'm I'm so I'm so sorry. I tried. See, like, everyone looks so good. Like, the, the the DS version doesn't make the characters look good. They look very, like, low res. They look very low res and not as uh, shiny and smooth. But, man, the remastered graphics make them look so good. It makes it look amazing. It brings out their, it brings out their lot. It brings out the, the, the lifelike quality in them. Give me one second real quick. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please, don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between the teacher and the and student. It brings a tear to my eye. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella, that the execution was tonight? I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jow would could never have done such a thing. Ha ha ha. Oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true, and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. What else can I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever did you, whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here to brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons. So were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record. Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Everybody has certain principles that they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. 
Fuck you, Cabanella. And that's why I never trust him. He has this, he has a really he seems really shady. He seems like he's a he's a he has a really narcissistic uh, aura about him. And usually with narcissists, they don't give a fuck about anyone else but themselves. So they'll do whatever it takes to get for them to get ahead in life. He's very narcissistic. I have this I had this very very bad bad feeling from him since the beginning. Even though I did play this game 13 years ago, I don't remember too much about it. But I don't really I don't really have a good feeling about him. That's enough, Flu. But Detective Jowd! I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. <laughs> but Oh crap, I missed the message that it was I was, I was, about, to, I was about to read. My poor Amelie, is she alright? Actually, the girl who was kidnapped is named Camilla. Why is that dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute, Amelie? Could that be the Amelie next door? Yes, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. No, not me. My wife, it's... Uh, complicated. Yeah, I bet it would be pretty hard to admit she left him. The minister's wife ran away on him? Maybe they grew apart, what with, what with him being so busy? Yeah, I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping about me inside my own head! Let's see, let's go talk to, uh... There you go. Uh, I like- that sound kind of sounds like the sound from Resident Evil 2 whenever you, uh, cancel out an, uh, cancel out of selecting an item in the inventory. That kind of sounds like the Resident Evil 2 sound. I mean, it is made from Capcom after all. According to what I heard, Amelie was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they're lying in wait for her. But Amelie didn't go out after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. Huh? Huh. And so the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake instead. Apparently, Amelie and Camilla are about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh, right. You asked her about the, to bring the music box. Camilla. Ooh, shit. We need to talk to um, Detective, Detective Jowd now. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping? Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution tonight. Ha ha ha. I had no idea. I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. <gasps> Ooh! Oh my god! Ooh! Oh my god! Detective Jowd's gonna be so surprised. Oh my god! Ooh, he's gonna—he's gonna—he's he's gonna, yeah, gonna be so fucking pissed. He's gonna be so fucking angry when he hears when uh, now that he knows this. What, Camilla? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No, it can't be. And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him! He knows the secret. He knows the secret, but he's he's in denial. Oh shit, Dalton's in denial. Oh my god. This shit's getting good. Woo! Let's see. I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. 
is it true? What Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's, Alma's, birthday. Oh, this shit's getting good. This, this game's getting good. We came home from work, and she went in first. Bang. Oh my god. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, Camilla. That's what you get. Why did- Mom! Mom! What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla. Just the two of them. So the little lady's mother had died right in front of her. You stupid bitch! Oh my god. <laughs> Why'd you kill your mom, bitch? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Don't pin it on your dad, bitch! <laughs> Oh my, that's so horrible! Oh, so now Lynn knows the truth. So, okay, so if you guys are confused, uh, so Lynn actually took Camilla in. So, uh, when Detective Jowd was found to be, uh, was found to, um, be guilty of, um, his wife's murder, uh, so of course, you know, obviously, you need, you need parents. You need, you know, either one or two parents to take care of a child. So, since Alma, the wife, died, and then Detective Jowd is in prison, he's put away in prison, there's no one to take care of Camilla, so Lynn decided to, uh, Lynn put it on, put it, uh, put it upon herself to actually take care of Camilla, since Dowd is in, uh, put away in prison. Why is Asgore's human Sona here? Who's Asgore? Oh, Asgore's, uh, from, um, Undertale, right? Or, uh, Deltarune? Is that, is that, oh man, the type of Jowl's pretty hot though. I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty hot. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the con, she said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. Made an impossible move. An impossible move? Boy, then do I have the goat dad for you. Ooh, oh my god. Ooh. I want to see some Asgore. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I'd convince everyone of, even me. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. Powers of the dead, right? That day in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not at all. There are a couple of other people who know about those powers. Oh, maybe, ooh, maybe Camilla was framed. <gasps> ooh, oh my god, I have a feeling now. I have a feeling Camilla was framed for the murder. She, I mean, obviously, she didn't cause, she didn't want to kill her mom, obviously. Give me one second. Yeah, so, ooh, so I have a feeling there were people who were, um, who were interfering. What are they called? It's not instigators. There's a word for them, um, in, not inter uh, interlopers, right? Is it is the word interloper? There are interlopers. Maybe they know how to use the powers of the dead, and then they interfere, um, yeah, interloper. So they probably made it so that the gun inside uh, Detective Jow's house uh, was going to shoot Alma. They made it so, so these ghostly interlopers probably caused the, the gun to shoot Alma. So obviously, Camilla wouldn't do something like that. She wouldn't set up the room like that to make it so that whenever she, you know, made the surprise, ha um, the, the, the Rube Goldberg surprise mechanism happen, she obviously didn't want the gun to to actually activate and shoot her mom, so she didn't she to so in so in the end she didn't really cause her mom's she didn't really kill her mom. Someone else caused the ha caused that happen. Maybe it was a ghostly interloper that caused that to happen to make the chain reaction 
perform differently or cause differently, react differently, so that the gun gets gets uh, activated and shoot her mom. So that's probably what happened. Some ghostly interloper uh, was interfering. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. Ooh, this game's getting good. I don't know why, when I first played this game, I wasn't as invested. I wasn't as invested into this game back then, 13 years ago. No, why do, why do I keep saying 13 years ago? I didn't play this game 13 years ago. I played this game two years afterward. So probably like nine years, no, 11 years ago. Uh, probably 11, 11 or 10 or 11 years ago, I, I probably wasn't that invested in this game, but now I am. The better graphic, the improved graphics do make a difference in making more invested. The kidnappers who abducted, who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. There's no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jowd. There's still time before dawn. A little anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? Woo, it's getting good. An impossible move. Camilla's was, Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of that gun. Right, that was an, anti that was an antique gun I had, I've had on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design? Of course it wasn't! It was supposed to be a birthday- It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday! And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? Oh man, it's getting so good. I can't- I don't want to keep- I don't want to stop now. I want to keep playing. I don't want to stop. It was supposed to tr shoot its arrow without turning around. Yeah, and then the party popper's supposed to pop up. That's why in the junkyard, you see in that room, that secret room in the junkyard, you see the it was supposed to be a recreation of this murder scene. There, the the detectives were trying to figure out how the uh, how the contraption, how the Rube Goldberg uh, mechanism fucked up and actually turned around and shot and made it so that the the rope um, causing the gun to react was burned instead. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. I don't know what to say. I didn't, I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Miller. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. <gasps> what kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. Gun, eh? Come to think of it. Yeah, there was- I didn't- I noticed that there was no gun there either. Yeah, I, I did notice that earlier. There was no gun there, just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. I knew it. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption. But for one thing was for certain. That gun was still smoking. So that gun did- so that gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. <gasps> Cabanella! Oh my god, Cabanella. So he turned his own detective friend in? He turned his own detective friend in? So he could get a promotion. <gasps> you asshole! Oh my god, you know the truth, you fucking asshole. You know the truth that the gun was not um, shot by... Um, Detective Jowd. Ooh, you fucking asshole. And you turned your friend in on purpose just so you can get a promotion. Fuck you, asshole. <gasps> you sociopath, you narcissistic sociopath. I burn. Uh... <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, Moolala! Oh my god. Oh my god, girl. <laughs> and also, thank you so much for the follow, whoever that, that, whoever that was. We do anonymous follows, so, um, 
Thank you so much for the follow. Definitely lurk away. Definitely lurk away. Uh, right, uh, anonymous follower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sh for the uh, for the raid, girl. Oh my gosh, guys! If you don't know who I am, uh, well, let me go and give a shout out to Mulala. But yes. Thank you so much for the raid, Mulala. Go, guys, go ahead and follow this beautiful, beautiful, awesome streamer. She's so sexy. She's so beautiful. She's so thick and beautiful. Oh my gosh, you gotta go follow her. She streams lots of horror games. She streams lots of horror games. And uh, what were you streaming? Uh, you still are you always oh, streaming Cult of Lamb tonight? Yes. Go ahead and check on follow Mulala. Ooh la la, it's Mulala. <laughs> Go, 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 go follow that sexy bitch. <laughs> follow that sexy bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> but yes, go follow Moolala. She's awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the five bits. Thank you so much, Confused Cat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the five bits. But yes. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I am, um, oh my god, I was about to say my old username again. I was about to say my old username. I'm Koopa Bui. I used to be called VBui, but then I changed my name to Koopa Bui since I'm more of a Nintendo streamer now. But I do occasionally stream, uh, Retro Horror and JPGs, so, um, after, what we'll, we're streaming, currently streaming, uh, the remaster of Ghost Trick Fan and Detective, we actually streamed the original game on the DS, uh, uh, for the past few streams. But I want to stream the remastered version to see what the differences are. And the differences for, um, man, the remastered version of Ghost Trick Fan Detective is so much better. Uh, it's so much better. I, I definitely recommend Ghost Trick Fan Detec Detective get the remastered version on the Switch. It's so much, the graphics are way, way better. It, uh, it's so much smoother. You can also see the game on a bigger screen. Excuse me. So it's a lot, lot better to enjoy. And you can enjoy the story a lot better with the smooth, better graphics. So, um, yeah. Uh, after this, though, we're going to be streaming the Legend of Zelda Marathon. We're going to be streaming all the Legend of Zelda games. All the Legend of Zelda games from the very first Legend of Zelda. All the way leading up to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So come on, come follow, come hang out, guys. We're going to be doing the Zelda Marathon after this game. Thank you so much, girl. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much, Amulala. Uh, You're welcome. Start with a mortuary assistant and um, got the new ending. Then switch to cold land. Awesome, Mulala. Oh my gosh, love your face. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you, girl. And also thank you for the uh, thank you for the uh, <laughs> the water uh, the glug glug. I actually do need it. I actually do need it because this game requires a lot of reading, a lot of voice acting. So we're at a really good part of the game. We're actually at a really, really good, really good part of the game. So if you guys don't know what Ghost Trick Fan Detective is, it's made from the same people who did the uh, um, uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney games, Shu Shu Takumi or Takami. Yeah, I think it's Shu Takumi. So you play as this ghost named Sissel, who is trying to figure out who he really is, who, what his real identity is. So <clears throat> he's going to be. He's trying to. Uh, so he. So it's a, a murder mystery where you play as a, per, a uh, as a ghost detective, hence you know, a uh, ghost trick fan detective, and he, he you can actually manipulate objects. You possess objects, and you manipulate them to figure out puzzles. You know, and you also need to possess different objects to get from one ob to get from one place to another too. So we're we're at a really good part in the game. We're at a really really uh, pivotal point in the game. You just came at the right time. Where we find out a lot about uh, this one detective's, the, this alive detective's, um, this person who's alive. We find out about his past, and and uh, we find out a huge, uh, found out about a huge, huge twist in his past, and uh, about him hiding uh, this gun to save his daughter's life because his daughter supposedly killed his mom, uh, killed his wife. His daughter supposedly killed his wife, but it, that's not. But that's not exactly true. She didn't mean to kill his wife. Um, someone well, there's an interloper who actually made it so that little girl contraption 
the, her her birthday her birthday contraption to surprise her mom. Uh, it was manipulated and changed so that the contraption um, caused the gun to go off and shoot her shoot the mom. So the the father, Detective Jowd, he had to hide the gun and then um, turn himself in to his friend, Director Detective Cabanella, who eagerly did that so he can get it promoted because he's a narcissist sociopath. What? You mean? But yeah, um, that's awesome. Uh, how was Cult of the Lamb? Was it really fun, Moo? I'm glad you're enjoying uh, uh, Cult of the Lamb, girl. I, I should play Cult of the Lamb as well. It seems like a fun game. But yeah, I, I actually, uh, I'm glad that, and also Moo, I'm also glad that you're uh, uh, posting the TikTok again. I really love your TikToks, girl. And that detective uh, still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? It was the gun. Oh my god. So the guns in the detective, um, the guns in the music box. I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police. My own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When I was, when I was all done, I turned myself in. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Wait! Wait, I already read this. This game does look really good, though, compared to the original DS game. It does sound like the Resident Evil 2 uh, pick up and cancel sound. I mean, it does sound like the Resident Evil 2 co confirm and cancel sounds. It does! They are the sounds! Detective Jowd, is what you told us just now true? Yes, of course. <laughs> In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd. And of course, little Camilla didn't do it either. See, she didn't. Even Lynn thinks that uh, Camilla didn't do it. So the true perpetrator is still out there. And I'm going to prove it. I would love to stay and watch, but I'm very tired. No worries, confused cat. Thanks for thank you so much for coming by, cat. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing a Zelda marathon soon, so yeah, hopefully you come back soon. You have a good rest of your night. Take care and don't be a stranger. Have a happy Fourth of July too if you're American too. Thank you so much for coming by, cat. You have a good night. But and also thank you so much for the five bits. Thank you so much. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. You too. Thank you, thank you. For Camilla's sake. Yeah, we not we gotta clear both Dowd's and Camilla's names. We gotta clear both their names. So that way they both save we both save their lives. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Tempsick Park. Camilla left it there. Tempsick, Kismet, Fate. It's at Fate Park. The gun is important evidence. You better go pick it up. Yes, sir, I'll go right now. Are they okay, so that's what I'm wondering. Bye, you're welcome on first on first place. I know, that's awesome, cat. Bye. Yeah, you too. You have a good night. Bye. But yeah, this <laughs> But yeah, thank you for coming by. But yeah, this is so. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I'm. I'm wondering if they're talking to each other through like telepathy, or maybe they're talking actually in, in you know physically, and then and then Cabanel is hearing all this shit too. What, what do you guys think? Do you think they're talking to each other through te telepathy, like ghost tele ghost telepathy, or are they talking to each other like physically? Sissel, take care of Detective Jowd. And do something about the kidnapping, so we can get the minister on our side. Yeah, it looks like it looks like they're talking through ghost telepathy. And yet again, I, I say, easy enough for you to say. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. 
I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody. Don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you. With a special seat just for you, baby. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Cabanella. I guess we better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so de so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla. In more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend. In more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight? As planned? The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and can resume its enforcement. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please, don't bow down to me. And especially not that low. In that case, could I have one of your boys arrange a prison man to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir. What the fuck's he doing? The van should take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row Inmate? God, he's so, like, impersonal. He doesn't give a shit about his own friend. That's how much of a sociopath he is. I'm glad to see Detective Jowdell fired up now. But I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Lin does come through with proof of Jowd's innocence, it will be meaningless if Jowd or Camilla dies. I've got to do something about that kidnapping somehow. Maybe I should ask for some advice from the capable detective here. Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one. I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it? How? I doubt his wife is ever going to answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right. But a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? What I'm saying is, only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost? Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change this situation. Gee, Detective. For these past five years, Camilla's the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter. But is there a way? Of course there's a fucking way. Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I can hear you, la 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 la! I'm sure you heard everything we've been saying. Are you telling me you don't believe any of it? Let me speak plainly. I don't trust you, but there's somebody else whom I trust even less. Oh yeah? Who's that? Me! I can't explain your, ex your existence. It's, I can't explain your existence. It's not normal. But I'm pretty abnormal myself. So maybe you're a figment of my imagination. A delusion. Would you listen to a delusion? To be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about. I got the bit about you not trusting me, though. Good. Let me get to the phone. Mosey on up over to the phone. All right, ladies, red apartment. That's where we need to go. This this game's getting good. I don't want to stop now. I want to keep going. I'm so I'm so invested now. I don't want to stop. I really, I really don't want to stop now. <laughs> Give me one second.
Just as I thought. Yep, she's alive. This little girl's safe in her bed. I don't know why they have Christmas decorations on. Cough, cough. Murder. Execution. Jailbreak. Betrayal. And now kidnapping. The last link in the long chain of a sad fate lit a fire in Jout's heart. And the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that happened so far tonight has related back to me in some way. And I bet this mistaken written abduction does too. You can, we can actually go back to the original music too. Honestly, I, I, I honestly I find that the the, the remastered music is probably better. Oh, we we finished this chapter now. Man, I don't want to end. I don't want this chapter to. I don't want this game to end. Chapter thirteen, twelve fifty one a.m. So there's actually there's actually four more chapters left. From what, I, from what I remember, I visited the novelist's apartment again. I'm hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who was kidnapped, I doubt this justice minister will call off the execution tonight. There's, there's Amelie. I guess maybe it's Christmas season? Maybe it's Christmas season during this game. The key to dispelling the minister's doubts is now in bed, coughing. And I need to use this key before that prison band arrives to pick up our death row inmate. Cough, cough! Look at her being like, um, you know, <laughs> um, irresponsible mother. My darling angel. Mm. Oh, just listen to that cough. Mm. You naughty thing. Did you leave your nice warm bed to go out to go out and to go out into the night and to play? A daughter after my own heart. But I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. I didn't go out to play. I went to buy Papa a birthday present. He said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out this late at night. But my fever finally went down. I could barely move before that. Cough, cough. Dang, the graphics are so good. But look at what it brought you. Your fever is worse now than ever. Here's to the feverish passion of my darling angel. Mama? Yes, darling. Let's call Papa and wish him a happy birthday, even though it's already past midnight. Not tonight, Amelie. No, you didn't. I hate you! Yeah, I hate you too, bitch. No, not, not you, not you, Emily. I'm talking about Camilla. I mean, I'm talking about the mom. Looks like this little girl was safe all along. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. And there's another lucky development, too. Amelie wants to call her father. Now, if I can just make use of that feeling somehow... That would surely bring the justice minister around. Why don't okay? Why doesn't Omni just get out of bed and just call her dad? Why can't you just do that? Why can't you just get out of bed, get your get your, get your sick ass fucking ass out of the bed, walk over to the phone and call your dad, say happy birthday, and then your dad's gonna be like, "Oh, you're alive! Oh, you're alive, Omni! Oh, I'm gonna call off the execution and, st and stop being a dumb bitch, okay?" That would surely bring the Justice Minister around. <clears throat> C. 
Seriously? Oh crap, I missed it. There you go. Oh, I can't, I still can't reach it. Ooh, but maybe, ooh. Ooh, shit. She's too sick to get out of bed? The phone! Amelie, I told you. I told you you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, Amelie. Your father is about to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. What do you know about it? Mama? What do you know about it, Mama? He's the one who's the justice minister, you know? All you do is write weird novels! Ooh, she's pissed. Ooh, that bitch is pissed. Ooh. Oh my god. What do you mean, weird? What do you mean, weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? Now you've really made me angry! You really have! Oh shit, mocking her Kylo fan. <laughs> really? There's a oh, Raylo? Are there really, uh, like, Star Wars fanfics about Rey and Kylo? Are there really like that? Are there really fanfics about them? No spoilers, no spoilers. I haven't seen them yet. Oh my god. <laughs> you really have? How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? <laughs> yeah, sure. They really are fanfics. <gasps> no! Hey! Bitch! You don't know they ha you don't know the half of it. It's an infamous oh my god. Spoiler Kylo is Ren. Oh my god. I hate you! There! I'll be keeping my eye on you now, so you won't do anything else mischievous. Like calling your father. I hate you! I can hear you, you know. So I wonder how Camilla died. Phew, what a pair. I don't know what this family's issues are, but I do know I have to do something about this lady so Amelie can call. See what happens if I light it. Cough, cough. I feel bad for Amelie. I feel really bad for her. She even even she knows that she should call her dad and save and save uh, Camilla's life and Detective Chow's life too. But this lady's fucking selfish. She's selfish as fuck. She is selfish as fuck. Let's see what I can do here. What's this? The dictionary? Okay. What's this? What can I do with all the hoist and the chandelier? I don't think I can do anything with them. Okay, so we got, we got the rat. Well, well, having a good time, are we, little rodent? Sweet dreams! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> oh, that poor rat! Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friend? Damn, I don't think all the wine in the world will never make, uh, will, will never uh, help you write a, uh, Amazing fanfic. I mean, I mean, I mean, romance, romance novel, romance novel. I mean, honestly, scheming, honestly, scheming. Do you think? Do you feel like fa uh, romance novels back then were pretty much fanfics? Do you feel like like their like their their fanfic quality back then? I've never I've never read a romance novel before, but my sisters back then, my sisters back then, they did, oh, they they did own a bunch of romance novels. <laughs> Bowie, it's how we not. It's how we got Fabio. That's true. That's true. My sisters did own a bunch of romance novels back then. A along, they're like they're sitting alongside their Agatha Christie, their Agatha Christie, <laughs> and Babysitters Club books. So they had romance novels along with the Agatha Christie and 
and Amy Tan hey! and um, Babysitter's Club books. Like, there were fanfics back then, too. They just were something else. Right, right. She's more powerful than I thought. It looks like she tipped the wall can candela bra to one side, too. Hmm. The angles of these candles. I get the feeling I've seen something very similar to that quite recently. Yep, we just sure did. Let's see, turn knob. I better not put out the lamp right now. It will only pour oil on the flames hey! of anger in this lady's heart. Today we just know who what they are. Like for instance, the shitty romance novel that was originally a Batman in Bane fanfic that the author hyped to no end. There is a Batman Bane fanfic? Oh my god. Wow, that was from back then. If I want to give Amelie a chance to use the, the telephone, I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. I don't know what these challenges are. Oh shit! Oh my god, we're burning the rat? Oh my god. That poor rat, we're like abusing it. Oh heavens! A blackout at a critical time like this? Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well, but I myself am not very fond of the dark. No amount of wine is going to help you write a fanfic, lady. Oh, now I remember. The chandelier just narrowly missed the back of my head. I love the thrill of romance, but I don't need these kinds of thrills, thank you. I like how she, like, lights the... <laughs> lights the can um, match with her ass. Dang, the, gr the animation's so good. I'm not gonna lie, the animation for this game is so good. Oh, what a wonderful atmosphere. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the follow! Thank you so much! Uh, we do anonymous follows, so thank- Yeah, definitely lurk away, if, uh, whoever that was. Thank you so much for the follow! Thank you, thank you. Perfect for a, clande for a clandestine meeting in the dusky twilight. I don't exactly know how the situation came about, but I think I owe the, the rat an apology. The rat seems to be unconscious. Uh, okay, so it was called Born to be Bound, and it caused a big stink because she was claiming to have, like, originated ABO dynamics and writing Alpha, Beta, Omega, and, like, Werewolf, Link, Kink, and everything. I think she went to court or tried to take someone to court over writing ABO in, her, in, their, fi in their fic. Oh, really? Scheming? Oh! Anne Rice! Duh! Anne Rice is also considered a fanfic uh, novelist, too. She was, well, she was originally a romance novelist, right? But she's, she's, I mean, fanfic, romance novels, they're kind of the same thing, right? So Anne Rice, too, she's also a fanfic writer, in a way. Let's not forget about her. But now that the room has changed into this, maybe I can use it somehow. Anne Rice is like Yaoi for vampire. Yeah, she's Yaoi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yaoi Zowie. Let's see, burn brighter. Let's see, what is what can I do for this? What can I do for you? Which is redundant since all vampires are gay are all gay cops. <laughs> are they all gay? I'm sure. Yeah, they could they probably are gay. Like like in uh, like a um vamp um Vampire Hunter D, he's probably gay too. 
But there was that one vampire in Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust, Meyer Link, he wasn't gay. He was straight. He liked that one. He liked that human lady. Okay, let's see. What can I do here? Well, not the one from that Mormon mommy porn thing Twilight. Like, oh my god. The, the, oh! Really? That, uh, the Twilight author? Uh, what's her name? Amy... What was her name? Uh, Stephanie? Stephanie something? She's Mormon? Really? She's Mormon? <laughs> Mormon mommy. <laughs> I didn't know she was, uh, I didn't know she was a Mormon. Man, what am I supposed to do with this part? I can't make it burn brighter. I can't do anything with burn brighter. I have to do something else. Let's see. Oh, goodness. Look at the time. As I bask in my tale of love, time has been moving on at the speed of light. Hmm, so even though she's immersed in love, she can still hear this, eh? But this won't buy enough time for her daughter to make a phone call. There must be something else I can distract her with. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, swing harder. Oh, I see, I see. And then, maybe burn brighter? Oh, shit! What did I do? Oh, nothing. I didn't do anything. Voiced. Oh, there's like a lot of talk about it. Just search Mormonism and Twilight and you get a ton of stuff about it. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that Mormons would allow her to write a uh, to write a story like that. Let's see. Maybe I have to keep swinging it really hard. Maybe I have to keep swinging it. Oh no, I can't do it yet. So what else can I do? Let's see, what about the lighter? Can't do anything with the lighter either. Hmm. Can't do that. Can't do anything there either. Oh, examine. Hmm, the lady's dictionary. Wasn't this on her desk before? The poor thing, destined to never be returned to the bookshelves. Well, also, if you want to uh, know more about how like the price of fanfics have gone up and influenced readership, just Google Galley Inflation. Really? There's... Oh my god, really? Wait, you can buy fanfics? You can, you can actually purchase fanfics? I thought they're all free. Really? Oh, I can turn the crank, duh. What a naughty chandelier. He doesn't know, oh my gosh. Wait, let me try this again. Such insolence. Hmm, I wonder. This lady is, su is surprisingly quick. She dodged that thing like a pro. I guess I better get serious here. Maybe I have to bop her? So I have to, I have to probably bop her or something. Gotcha! Baby, here we go! Amelie! Amelie, help me! <laughs> it looks so weird when she does that. <laughs> yeah, the, her the, the swirly eyes, the swirly anime eyes. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm too dizzy. I can't get up. Hey, stop it! Oh my gosh. I'm afraid I can't help you right now. <laughs> Here's to the weakness of my darling angel. <clears throat> that chandelier's on the on their tighter than her wedding band. 
She won't be able to escape on her own. Oh, I guess I'll turn the crank and lift her up. Help! 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 What? What is going on here? Amelie, look! Do you see this? Help me, please! Uh, sorry, I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. Ugh. My head is spinning. So I guess you'll just have to stay up there spinning too. Yeah, that's what you get, bitch, for not uh, letting your daughter call her, call, uh, call her dad. That's what you get. Looks like this lady won't be going anywhere for a while. Now that little girl can call her father. Oh my god. The only trouble is she can't reach it. I guess I'll just I I guess I'll just have to deliver it to her. Yeah, I know that. I know that I need to let light up that candle bra. Oh, that's right. The angle of those candles. I saw something very similar just recently, didn't I? Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, maybe I can burn brighter somehow and then make her maybe I can make her burn or something. There you go. Oh no, I burned the poor blown rat again! Oh no, the poor rat! Now I really owe that poor rat an apology. But this might but this might be a really good chance for me too. I have to get that phone to Amelie. Oh no, that poor little rat. This game is really fun, though. I'm not gonna lie, it's really fun. Oh no! Finally, jeez. And then she can call her dad to save her mom, too. Mama! What in the world is going on here? <clears throat> this game's getting good. <laughs> Oh, goody. Excuse me a minute while I call Papa, okay, Mama? It'll, it'll only be a, I'll only be a minute. See, these puzzles are really fun. These puzzles are really fun. It's, it's especially more fun when you have viewers to hang out with you and watch. Don't you dare, Amelie! I won't have it! Get me down! Don't you dare, Amelie! Hello? Papa! Ooh! Gasp! Amelie! Is that you? Of course it is, silly. What, do you, what did you think? Well, I heard they said you were... No, never mind. It's nothing. Silly old Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Birthday? Oh, right. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? So do they have caller ID in this world? I mean, how did he know? How does he know that his daughter is not, call being, not calling from the kidnapper place? How, did, how does he know that she's calling from, you know, um, the apartment that, there's, that, he, that she and her mom are living in? I mean, I guess as long as he hears his daughter's voice, that's all that matters. Birthday? Oh, right. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate tonight. Thanks to mean old mama. Oh, your mean old mama. Mama. I mean, your mother. What is she up to right now? Well, she's certainly up, all right. My stubborn mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Get me down! She needs to be taught a lesson for causing us so much trouble. No, Amelie. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Could you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? Uh, that, that, don't you like my my sick voice? Don't you like don't you guys like like my sick voice? I was just about to make a terrible mistake. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, what's up, Dink? But it's all right now. Oh, okay. You're still young. There's a lot I can't, I can't tell you right now. 
but the job of Justice Minister is very complicated, you see? Maybe I should turn off the light. Let me see how, how much better it looks with, without the green light. Let's see. Oh, it, it actually doesn't look that good. I'll just put it back on. Well, let's, hey, what's up, Dink? Okay. But just remember, but just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. But hey, what's up, Dink? How, how's your fourth been? How's your fourth of July been, Dink? <clears throat> did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything. But okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa. Have a good night. I love you. I love you too, Amelie. Good night, sweetheart. Aww. I'm glad I'm glad that the Justice Minister is happy that he knows his his, his daughter's safe. Um worked during the 4th. Oh no. Did you have fun at least during the 4th of July working? Did you have fun at least, think? Um mama, I'm sorry. My goodness, why the sudden change? I guess I was wrong about you. I didn't understand. Oh, Amelie! I thought all he ever did was write these weird novels. That makes me a little sad. Papa said the job of Justice Minister was complicated. Yes, your father's job is very, very complicated and difficult. That's why I couldn't talk to you mo about most of it. Oh shit, I didn't get to read what, she, what else she said. But you're... Ugh. And I promise to stop calling your novels weird and try actually reading them. Gotta work early, that's a plus. That's awesome, that's awesome, Dink. Yeah, it's awesome for you to come by and hang out. But yeah, did you, do, did you get any uh, barbecue? Did you get any uh, 4th of July barbecue? Any brisket? Any, you know, pork barbecue? Any corn? And bread? Oh my god, all the cornbread? Oh my gosh. And... Uh, Macaroni and cheese. What? Oh, uh... Maybe you'd better wait until that you're a little older for that. Oh, okay. So, Amelie, if you're feeling a little more charitable towards your old mama, do you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that, but I'm just feeling too dizzy and sick right now. Aw, oh, that poor little girl. She's such a sweet little girl, unlike her mom. Tonight, on this holiest of nights, my deadline. It looks like the only thing pressing on me will be the chandelier. Here's to Papa and Mama's darling angel. <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody is getting along. Is everybody is getting along again? Well, unfortunately, I, no. Unfortunately, not. I did have some decent pasta, though. Ooh, what kind of pasta did you get? Maybe you should post. I don't know. Are you? Maybe you should post some po uh, picture of your pasta in the Discord server. It's such an abrupt change. I can't understand it. Is this what family is all about? In any case, the situation has changed. Has changed dramatically now. I just hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows on the minister's brow. I don't know where Camilla is, but at least now the justice minister's doubts are dispelled. Are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office where everybody is waiting for the prison ban. <laughs> Looks like I don't have to travel back through the phone. The minister's family now has their smiles and harmony back. But Camilla is still in the hands of the kidnappers. I decided to go back to the Justice Minister's office. Surprisingly, the Minister's brow is still just as furrowed as ever. Fur just as furrowed as ever. Quiet like a father who has just learned that his daughter is safe. He seems to still be in the depths of despair. The atmosphere in this room is very different now. It seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. 
I get the feeling something big is gonna happen. This is probably gonna be this is probably a good stopping point. We'll stop at five hours. I just found out that my daughter is safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter's sake and for mine. No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. What did he do? But one question. I can't help but notice. Your daughter is safe. And yet you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Ugh. Of course, there is still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. Oh wait, that wrong voice. But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister? Please, let me think in peace until the prison van arrives. I wonder if Lynn is at the park yet. Until we get a report, I guess I'll just have to wait here. This, continu this continued distress of the ministers. Is there really something more to it, like the inspector in white said? <coughs> Hello, Justice Minister. How about you finally admit I do exist? That thank you I expressed. That was meant for you. You're a ghost, aren't you? And you have the power to make, to control and manipulate people, don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. We've actually known, you know, for quite a while now. But I had no idea they were the powers of the dead. Of ghosts. Known? Known about, known about what? We knew the existence of somebody who could control others. A manipulator. What's this? That's why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Jowd. Mr. Minister, why don't you just tell us everything you know? Yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. All about the huge mistake this foolish man made. Ooh, shit. It's getting good. There are some cases in this country right now that are under a top-secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Zhao. Right, they don't share too much top-secret information from the, with the inmates in prison. There are three prisoners, including you, in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have certain points in common. They do, do, do they? Tell us more. The rock singer who leaked national secrets in his lyrics during a TV broadcast. The curry-loving fellow who took the chief commissioner hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither of these men had a motive for their crime. And both of their crimes were impossible. Possible? The curry lover had no way of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office. And the rock singer had no way of knowing the national secrets he leaked. Oh, I get it now. Go All the ghosts have different powers. So, Sissel's powers were able... Are, are, Sissel, Sissel has powers of being able to manip manipulate objects. So this other ghost probably has powers of being able to manipulate people. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Did you know that AI deep faking is hitting video game VAs hard? A lot of them don't know about until it's brought to their attention. Oh no! Really? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, at this point, you can probably, um, you can probably, uh, uh, copy someone's voice now. At this point, you can probably, you know, pretend. Because like, there's even scams out. There's even scams online where like old people get get tricked into thinking that they're. Um, their family members uh, calling them when it's really not their family member. 
Yeah, I've I've heard about those kind of, those kind of that that AI can actually copy your voice now. It's, that's kind of scary. The special investigation unit and submitted an investigative report to me on them. They con they concluded that these men's criminal acts were not of their own volition. But how could that be? The theory the unit came up with was the existence of a manipulator. A manipulator, huh? That's when a special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. Oh shit. Yeah, there is a giant Google Doc that is going around that the VAs of Skyrim are now being brought to their attention uh, to because of on because on Nexus mods you can download AI deepfaking VA packs of them doing adult things. And a lot of the VAs are thinking of taking action. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean that that would make them look bad, right? So of course they need to take take action. Jout's case. <clears throat> Let's see. Some unknown power has been at work. These past several years, Inspector Capanella has been studying these cases. Yes, has he? Manipulating somebody into committing a criminal act, according to the inspector. The first case of its kind was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you trying to say I was manipulated somehow into shooting Alma? I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to, man to, manip to manipulate another's behavior like that. My powers certainly don't work on living creatures. That's what I thought when I first heard the theory, too. However, I was seriously mistaken, and it proved to be a big mistake. What? You mentioned a mistake. Could you tell us about it? I suppose everybody here has the right to know. Alright, fine. I'll speak out loud so that Inspector Cabanella can hear this too. <laughs> oh shit, what's going on? There's something I'd like the, the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector Cabanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, my Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist. And I... I learned the truth of that firsthand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. Oh, he was manipul he was manipulated too. I was being controlled. <gasps> he so even though he claimed that he uh, you know uh, signed the execution order, even though he was he really cared about Dr. Detective Zhao, he didn't do it of his own volition. He was being controlled. What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister. Oh shit. This looks so this game looks so good. I'm not gonna lie, this game looks so good. What's going on? This document! What am I doing? No, I mustn't sign it! Oh my god. <laughs> this game looks so good on the on the Switch. It it looks way better than it was on the DS. Wait, don't deliver that document! delivers it anyway, even though he told you not to. That's when it started. That's when all my fear, despair, and suffering began. Oh shit, it's getting good. This is a good stopping point too. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I had been manipulated, and my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Hmm. So the memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, eh? 
Citing execution orders is part of a justice minister's job. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against this was rebelling against this task. But the next day, it dawned on me. I remembered Inspector Cabanel's report on the existence of a of a manipulator. As a as a minister of justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. Yeah, you you probably wouldn't look good. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, this nation's judicial system would crumble. Besides, I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. Yeah, you wouldn't you would they wouldn't take you seriously and you would they would actually doubt your um your doubt your um how, how do you say? They probably um, doubt your um, faculties. I don't know. Doubt your authority. They would doubt your authority. Hmm. I suppose. Hmm. I suppose. But it sounds a bit like an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Yes. Yes. I know. I should have. I was. Running away from the problem. <laughs> and then my wife found out I was worried about something. Well, if you go around and with an expression like that, I guess it's bound to happen. I explained it to her, and she was dead, dead set against the way I was handling it. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everybody the truth immediately, I'm moving out! Oh dang, even she was against it. So she wanted to uh, to withdraw the order and, and save Zhao's life. And that's what started the whole, um, you know, marital troubles. And then with the kidnapping tonight, with it thrust under my nose like that, I could no longer, no longer deny my mistake. This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from every everybody. So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. Oh, this game's getting a lot, lot better. So there's some, so there's somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. <gasps> desk lamp. Maybe the desk lamp's behind it all. No. No, I don't think the desk lamp's behind it all, but maybe the desk lamp has powers too. So, oh my gosh. So yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. I feel like I like this game a lot more the second time around. This game's a lot better the second time around, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I played this game, I thought the game was decent. I thought the game was good, but I didn't think it was amazing. But I, I like it a lot better the second time around. I'm so glad that I decided to play this game again. What I'm what I'm not fine with is the fact that person can control and manipulate living creatures. That's certainly not something I can do. Apparently, different ghosts get different ghost tricks. But I never imagined that tonight I would find out where this kind of power comes from. Where it comes from. Inspector Cabanella, this manipulator is a ghost, a departed spirit. A spirit? As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. What? What did you say? Jout, don't tell me you can hear this ghost too. I'd say the only person who can't hear him is you. Spirit? Ghost? Gods in heaven? Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. I, re I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. Inspector! This is Lynn. I'm at the park. We've been, we've been waiting 
Um, we've been waiting to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? Well, uh, the situation here is... It's kind of difficult to explain. Sissel, if you're there, come to the park immediately. It looks like your help is needed, Sissel. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Oh, shit. What's gonna happen now? I knew, actually, right from the beginning. Knew what? That you saved my life the first time we met tonight. Oh, that. When I talked about that miserable, pathetic, short-sighted, disgraceful, disgraceful man, I knew I was talking about me. I hated who I, become, who I had become. But you helped me to appreciate the truth. Now I truly understand the wonderful support I've been getting from so many, including that of my loving family. I'm glad to hear that. I'm starting to realize what a lucky man I am, and it's all thanks to you. <laughs> yeah, because it seemed like everyone was ungrateful at first. It see yeah, it did seem like everyone was ungrateful at first. You know, like like the uh, um, Omni's mom and and, and the, the inspector. And maybe Amelie herself, too, and to an extent. But I feel like now, like, it's because they have, like, all these secrets that they're hiding from each other. They have these secrets hiding from each other, or they have these different motivations that's preventing them to, like, you know, care about each other. That's really cool. I like how Sizzle's bringing them together and it's helping them, helping people. He's helping everyone. I never saw that coming. The Minister was being controlled, huh? I'm truly sorry, Detective Jowd. I have no excuse to offer you. You know, maybe it was all for the best. What do you mean? If you had never been manipulated, you never would have believed the power existed. After all, you're a realist, right? It just goes to show you, you never know when even the worst things can turn out good. Detective Jowd? I... I don't know what to say. Alright, Cecil. You better go help Lynn. She's a good kid, but she's got a habit of taking on other people's problems. Yeah, I know. Let's see. She's in Temsic Park, eh? Kismet Park. I like I like the name of that. I like the name of that. Temsic, but it's really Kismet backwards. All right, let's go to the park. I'm, I'm trying to finish this chapter, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yeah, this chapter's pretty long. Len calls and I oblige. Maybe this is the end. Maybe this is the end right now. I take off toward Tempsic Park. The place where clearly something big is taking place. The manipulator. The person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Jout's crime. The execution orders. And even my own death. Let's go change the music. into shooting me. I don't see too much of a difference between the music, but it, I feel like the music here is a lot more vibrant. Oh, so Lin didn't really shoot him on purpose. It was, he was being controlled to shoot him. There's, see, I knew there was more to it. I knew she didn't shoot him. Alright. That's a good stopping point. All right, let's go ahead and end this, end the stream. So we're going to be, we're going to continue on chapter fourteen tomorrow night, hopefully. All right, all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been a fun stream. It's been a really fun stream tonight. So we're going to try to stream tomorrow night. And let's see who we can raid tonight. Let's see who can raid. Let's see. Hmm, I wonder who we can raid tonight. Oh, I know who we can raid. I know who we can raid. We, we'll go ahead and raid N tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll raid N tier. 
She's reading, she's streaming at Hat in Time. So we'll go ahead and raid Ed's here. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and and uh, stream tomorrow night. Hopefully, once I get back home from San Francisco. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. And if you haven't done so already, uh, let me do this. If you haven't done so already, uh, follow me on Twitch. Click on the heart icon to do so. To follow me on Twitch, and also follow me on TikTok for funny moments and highlights. Uh, Twitter for when I go live, and in, and YouTube. For my vods and uh, and also my um, YouTube shorts, so yeah, definitely come by, uh, definitely come back again, and also my Discord server. Come join me on my Discord server. Uh, we do, we try to do anime night, anime movie nights. We try to, do, we have questions of the day, we have food picks, we have Nintendo talk. So come hang out after after the stream too on my Discord server. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, let's see for our raid message. Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a new. Let's see. Is it this one? Yes. So guys, uh, if you are subbed, use the first message. We have a new raid message now. It used to be, um, it used to be Booy Roast Raid, but now we have Invasion from the Koopa Kingdom. <laughs> so um, if you're if you're sub, use the first message. If you're not sub, use the second message. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and raid end here with that message. So invasion from the Koopa Kingdom. <laughs> I like it. So um, let me go ahead and go to my credits. Let me change that. And I'll, and man, it's so. With my new laptop, it's so much easier to go through to to load everything now. It's so much easier with my new laptop. I love it. But thank you so much for everyone for coming by. You have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you guys uh, hopefully uh, tomorrow night when we stream some more Ghost Trick Fan Detective. And I think we might be beating this game tomorrow night. And so once we beat this game tomorrow night, we'll um, we'll actually hopefully start the Zelda Marathon sometime. Uh, hopefully on Thursday or Friday night. So I'll see you guys there, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for coming by, and you have a great rest of your night. Take care. And also thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, Moolala. Um, I mean, thank you so much for the cheers, uh, Kat. Thank you so much for the for modding scheming. Thank you so much for the sub, Drew, uh, Drevy. Thank you so much for the raid, Goron Megazord. Thank you so much. And let me see. We're going to go ahead and raid, um, end tier. So let's go ahead and raid her. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, um, tomorrow night. Take care, everyone. Cool. We have a good. We have a good. Uh, good turnout, guys. Take care, everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for more Ghost Trick Fan Detective. Bye.